Okay? She's not. But this commercialized ratchet has passed. It's ghetto ratchet time. And neither one of them are ghetto ratchet on this song. I think they both have potential to be. And Cardi normally smokes ghetto ratchet, but she's too big. That's why she got to go get with K-Flock. That's why she got to go get with some of the... She's too big to do it. We need a Bodak Yellow now. Both of these women, this sounds like this is two women who can't make a song, is what it sounds like. So we need to get either some of the same writers back that had... I think Party is a party. credited writer on this. <laughs> oh, good. All right, so that means that y'all coming with old sauce. Because mm-hmm. we know Partisan Fontaine, well, we assume he is not writing for either one of them today. Maybe true, maybe not. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. But this sound like... I don't see it. The hook is not hooking for me. It's not- All right, so, so I guess my only pushback to what he was saying is... Do you not give Cardi some form of grace because realistically, realistically, she's already shown up on what, like at least three or four features this year heavy. So it's just like, are we only, are you only really, I guess, critiquing her or judging her off of because the, because she's doing a rollout for this, because she's doing a press run. Of course, she didn't, she did an interview on every major hip hop platform. So are we realistically only judging her because of, because it's a it's a rollout. It seems like okay, but she even still said her album not coming out until next year. So it's like, why judge this single so much? Is it because they have had so much success behind WAP? Okay, that was a huge song. So let's realistically now we gotta kind of look at it on that stand. Because I don't feel like nobody would judge like if this was a Wayne and Nicki. If I mean if this was a Wayne and Drake song, like you kind of don't judge. You just let them shoot. My question: What, what what's really wrong with the song? I think it's. I think sometimes it goes into expectations because people, if you have expectations on, okay, this is supposed to be a Cardi B single, is featuring Meg Thee Stallion. I think realistically, the first thing you're gonna judge is WAP. But can like to as a man, and I think sometimes even when you listen into some of these things, is like, as a man, did I ever listen to WAP the original the first time I heard it and was like, oh my god, this is a hit. I don't think. See, I haven't seen the video yet, so I don't know. Maybe it's just the video as. You know what I'm saying? No, of course, the video, they just spent $2 million on the video. So, of course, the video is fire. They've given you all the sex appeal that you're looking for on the video. Whatever you think of a, a Meg and Cardi video is supposed to look like together, that video actually looks like that. But my real question is, even just especially for men, I wonder, do we are, is, is it, do we have a real gauge on an ear for what women will like? Because realistically, I was talking to Lo and them, and we was having this conversation about, um, just with this song, it's like, they're going to make it work and, and it's so funny because I seen the um, but, but my question is it a bad song? No, the song is not bad, but it's just cool. It's a radio song. It's a yeah, it's like why, but, that's what I feel like. But I was. think, but but I guess people are looking for because if you just going, if we just judging off of the last few singles that Cardi has had, I mean not singles, but features the she's features, been on, right. they've been a very aggressive songs. So in your mind, but um to me personally, even when I seen the cover, I wasn't expecting aggressive. Both of them half naked. So yeah. how did I assume that they was gonna come with something super aggressive? No, I, I okay, so even if we go back to WAP, WAP wasn't aggressive. It was a it was a song, you know what I'm saying? Like some I think because it came out, it, yeah, I think about it. It came, it came in the one, it came in the middle of the pandemic and right. it came out the blue. So it's because you have seen them work together now, you kind of already you're judging like I seen what works for them already. I seen it work. I seen them work together and I know what it works. So I think realistically, most people going to listen to it, you're going in with an expectation on what you feel like it should sound like. So what I'm saying is the song is not a bad song, but it's yeah, a radio that's, song. That's, that's not bad. I'm waiting for the first go-go band to get... It, it, to me, it's just, it, it's just it's just a radio song. Like, I don't look at it as nothing else besides like, okay, it's a cool radio song. Like, if you if you listen to the radio still, you're yeah. going to like it. And realistically, and I was telling Lowen them, I'm like, don't, they know how to uh, realistically know how to brainwash people on social media. So if I don't listen to the radio, as long as I'm on social media all day, guess what I'm gonna see? I'm gonna keep seeing Meg twerk to it. I'm gonna keep seeing Kali twerk to it. You and these videos, if you're a horn, if you're a horny dude, guess what you're gonna no, do? I, you're gonna I, keep I, watching I those videos. With, I agree with. I can't remember who was. I think it was Ice. I can't remember when they were saying if this came out in May before the summer, this shit will be. You know what I'm saying? Like I think they they brought it out at the wrong time, and then but, I. I don't necessarily. I can't. I, I can't say some, that. That could be a summer song. No, but, but listen to what I'm saying. I don't necessarily know. Realistically, can you sit here and say it? Oh, one, the weather not about to change no time soon. So sitting here saying it could be a summer song, like uh, girls put on way more uh, 
promiscuous outfits during Halloween. So it's not like that. Halloween is still about to come up. So I'm not saying I don't necessarily know what like I get what you're saying. Like it's a, it sounds oh, like a summer track, friendly yeah, like, song, yeah. but I don't necessarily know that I can't say that this song cannot still work during oh, the fall wanna, because the weather. Dog, yeah, well, let's work. be real. It's global warming outside. The weather ain't about to change no time soon. No, I think it's going to still. I, like I said, I, I fuck with the song. To be honest with you, I'm the the song that I was kind of disappointed or even you know was was uh Glorilla and them. Oh yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. We, 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 we yeah, but I, but again, I think it's just necessarily is like let's just no, stay. Oh, all right, let's let's no, let's, no, let's, no, let's no, don't no, jump no, around no, too much. No, stay right here. No, 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 I'm just saying, like when you say we used to Cardi being aggressive or we li- like her feature on a song. I yes, I get that. That's what I'm. You know, what I'm saying. But mm-hmm. for this song, I feel like I don't. I don't think it was nothing wrong. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I think they were. I think everybody else was, though. I think people, but just because realistically, again, in the com- we'd had this conversation before because this is Meg's first song, especially this is her first. Song. I don't even, I'm not even counting Tory stuff. I'm not, I'm not even counting Tory stuff. This is the first song you've heard her since Nikki Dister. And we had, man, you had this conversation last week when we were saying, you were saying, well, I don't think she's going to address it. She don't need to, whatever the case may be. So obviously, she probably felt the same way you did. She didn't. Her first single with her and Cardi, it had nothing to do with nobody. And and Cardi even addressed it. Angelique asked her that question. Uh, Again, because I said Cardi did a a bunch of press runs. She was on Angelique. John Angelique was asking her, like, are you conscious on which songs you're going to subliminally diss people on? Because some of the songs people know you talking to certain people or they assume whoever you're talking to, but on this song, you kind of made it your business not to give that type of energy on the song. And the colleague was like, yeah, I do. Mentally, sometimes I want to get it off my chest. So I'm going to get it off my chest on certain songs, but on this, on every song, I don't want to bring that energy to that song. So I think realistically, but my only point of it, even, even when it comes to Joe, you can't sit here and criticize her on this one, on this one song if you haven't spoke on her last three features. You didn't break down. You didn't come and be like, oh, yeah, let's talk about this uh, Lotto, John, her and Cardi. Because you, but again, but and that's my only point is where I, where I get frustrated with um, hip hop media. You can't pander to Nikki or be scared or tiptoe with the barbs if you're not going to have honest conversation. Because, dog, Cardi, to me personally, I'm not going to judge her because I know for a fact she smoked. I take that shit over that Nikki shit. Yeah, all right, but just real quick, can we, do, let's, let's try, let's try your hardest not to cuss because that, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. After me trying to go back and find clips, like the cussing is just like, we'd be ridiculous, dog. Like, you, let's figure out other words. Because the YouTube just sent me a jump, like, yeah, let's try to figure out some other words, my nigga. Like, let's try it. Um, but just, I guess my only thing with that is, it's just like, I don't know what you, with the, over the Nikki, I'll take it over the Nikki song, but I think the Nikki song, of course, realistically, will be bigger because it is a, it's a, it's, it's a pop song. She's not even trying to chase. The, I'm not trying to make girls shake their butt on Instagram. But again, all the workout girls, I, I literally sit here and say, well, watch how many girls going to do twerking videos to this. Lizzo didn't done one. Sukiyana didn't done one. Every workout girl, all they've done is done work workout videos to this. As soon as this, they'll figure out what certain parts. I've seen certain, some girls take the little Meg part. Uh, these girls is my little ponies. Whatever the case may be, she took that and then turned it and sit here and say, boom, I'm going to use this. And I'm they so they all clipping it up. So realistically, if I'm on social media all day, I didn't seen 30 girls make a video to this song. So now guess what? I'm geeking. I'm because just because if you're a horny dude, you're gonna watch these videos. Something like I said again with the Cardi joke, she the outfit she got on her twerking. You're gonna watch them a couple of times. So now guess what you're doing? Unless you watch it on mute, now you didn't listen to this song 30 times because you don't rewatch yeah, the video however many times. I don't see nothing wrong with it. But again, but like I said, again, that's just for me, even with Joe, it's like you are a man trying to give a basically opinion. And of course, it's music. So you want to be able to critique it and you want because I, I argue with a woman on TikTok when I was comparing uh, and we can get into it a little bit later. Ice Spice um, verse because somebody tweeted out and said and it was going viral when they were saying did uh, Sexy Red basically quiet the hype on Ice Spice. But women come in and Joe, oh, why you why you. um Why are you. uh what was it? What was it? Oh, yeah. Why y'all always comparing women? So I'm like, dog, this is hip hop. It's just like sports. We're going to always compare people. And this is why guys don't like talking to women about sports or music, because you sit here and want to like, that's a woman thing. Oh, why are you comparing? Like, dog, who cares? Why not? Why not compare? They are making music. I'm going to compare. If I can compare, per, uh, that's a perfect example, and this will end the conversation in the comment section was when Gunna dropped his album and Young Thug dropped his album, everybody was comparing them. Everybody was comparing. Dirk and Baby put their album about months in advance, but guess what the first thing people was on? Oh, Gun of Album is better than Lil Baby. I mean, it's better than Lil Baby and it's better than Lil Dirk. So I think people are going to compare. So I'm with you. If you're talking about song structure-wise, yes, I do like the... I will probably listen to the Cardi and Meg jump 
before again before the Nikki jump, but the, I feel like the Nikki jump is not. I'm not thinking about rap. I don't even know why they even uploaded it under the rap category because realistically, it's yeah, a strip pop song. I hate that shit. It's a it's literally a pop song. So it's just like what why that's it. So, but again, what I'm saying, even for with going back to the initial conversation, was I don't necessarily think men can be the first judge of music made for women. Because they're going to find different, like, it's going to be certain things that's going to be relatable to them that's not going to be related to what, so it won't stick out. So just even, like, we talking about Ski Yee and all that, like, dog, women controlled them so songs and those parts of the songs that made it cool. Because a dude, if I'm listening to it initially and be like, oh, what's Ski Yee? And then it'd be like, but if a girl say here, you keep saying enough girl say it, and you be like, oh, all right. But that's what they into then. And then it becomes cool. It's not like dudes can't sit here and say, oh, they made sexy red hot. No, hood rats in the hood made that cool. And I was talking to a homegirl of mine, and I was telling her, and she was just like, I just don't like sexy red because she felt like she slummed the um the eggplants and uh and peaches remix. And I'm like, Sheesh. no, of course she slummed it. And nobody let's speak. And I and we go, let's let's save it. I don't want to speak too fast. Lotto did what she was supposed to. You are the hotter person right now. I'm going to embarrass you on this song. So people can understand you, this is a moment and I'm really like that. Can, can we be honest though? I think our expectation for sexy like Ren is sexy red every really, I didn't I didn't expect her to be that bad. But, but what did she but but even in her other raps, I don't think she even Okay, the baby jump was horrible, but it was still more catchier. The the baby jump was horrible. But it was more catchy. I can tolerate her on the baby joint before I can go for her on this um on this on this remix. That this remix was like, bro, are you crazy? Are you really send this in? And I understand why they went with it because it's the name. Your name is a good enough draw. People go click it. They see sexy red and lotto. I'm going to click it automatically. Because I'm not going to sit here and make it like uh, uh, Nudie had the greatest verses ever on the original remember, song. No. Oh, he didn't rap on that. He didn't rap on the remix, but I'm just saying, even the no, original. I'm, I'm saying on the, even on the remix. Oh, yeah. It, know, it was I horrible. Just... I'm, but that's my but, but my point of it is, it's still not. I don't, you as a dude, you can't judge it. Like, Lotto is different because she's making sure. I'm going, even when she used that 1090 Jake line, it was like, I'm going to catch dude's attention because girls probably don't know who 1090 Jake is. Yes, so when she come with you, when I'm expose you like 1090 Jake, every dude who's on the YouTube thing, you really into the hip hop universe and you watching the interview, all the interviews and keeping up with who's snitching, that line hit you and you're like, oh, she went crazy. But then she brought it back in for the girls later on and was like, the, I'm going to burn your house down like left eye. And I'm like, oh, she bugging out right now. And then the way she did it on the flows and the pattern, bro, Lotto smoked that joint. But anyway, just to stick, go back to the, um, the Cardi and Meg Jones. Of course, me personally as a man, no, I do not like that song. But do I know that that song will work? Yes. Will that song chart super high? Of course it will. Bongo. Like that song is going to chart. So it's just like, it's going to kind of, it's going to be, it's almost going to be that thing where it's just like when, when uh, SZA album first dropped and everybody was like, oh, it's horrible. It's trash. This, that, and the third. And But guess what though? But she had the last laugh and that's why she kept throwing them numbers in your face because it's just like sports. And if we could tie it into sports real quick, I, and, and for everybody who's trying to use or to recycle the um the the whatever the track dude was Noah whatever his name is the track dude who said oh world champions of what and they was like okay well the USA got eliminated cool whatever case may be let's be let's slow down and Yo, let's Mr. Crazy Wear what well, just, no I'm not, I'm okay so let me cook so what I'm saying is he sit here and said that and the people who won the championship and won the MVP was Dennis Schroeder and he plays in the NBA that's the point proven. no 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 no. I Oh, I thought no. I thought just about this, but the USA. Well, what am I saying about USA? No, I, I mean no. I, no, I'm saying the best players in the world play in the NBA. Yeah. So no, that, that, but people no. were trying to make it like oh, them losing. That was. validated what they said. No, it yeah. does not. No. How? No, it Dennis Schroeder is not a star no. in the NBA. He literally just got cut before he played for the Lakers last year. He went to Boston. Y'all forgot he got he got paid that crackhead salary, and then they end up still cutting him. He didn't even really even get into the season with them. And that's how he ended up going back to the Lakers. Yeah, no, I, okay. So I th I thought you was just going, I thought you was going to do it. No, no, I get and, and that's why I said I don't think. But I watch people do it, and that's what will frustrate me. And I say I man, because I know of course I listen to Ebro and I heard him. I'm like, bro, this will blow me about you. One, you try to sit here and double down with the oh, the Afro beast is about to take over. Bro, Brandon Boy did 21,000. He ain't about to take over nothing. No, the rappers, the low budget rappers that we talk about do 21,000. Like, what are we talking about, dog? Quavo don't even got a hit on his song. He sneezed 33000 So we used to Burner Boy got all them samples. I'm sure that Burner Boy album costs more than any of our favorite younger rappers album. Do. We ain't talking about the big dogs. We're not talking about Drake. We ain't comparing him to none of J. Cole or nothing like that because hey, he ain't even in a class of them. And that's why Joe had to go back and apologize, try to say Burner Boy. He, Drake pushed back for Burner Boy. Are you retarded? 
And that be my point sometimes where it's like people, you can't like, I, and that's why I get frustrated when I listen to some people. I'm like, dog, you are trying to give me, you give me white media takes and you're giving me industry takes. You ain't giving me your honest opinion because your honest opinion should never go there. As an African, as, as an American black man, your opinion should never go to nowhere to none of that. You can't never sit here and be like, oh, I'm watching the NBA and I don't believe that these are the best players in the world. Why are you dumb? Dennis Struder is the MVP of the FIBA World Cup. Just Google Dennis Struder's NBA stats, dog. Even we was talking about it with um, what's my man name that played the uh, what did play for Memphis um, Dylan Brooks, bro. He was cooking for Canada. That game that they blo- that, that game that they lost, he had thirty nine. Like bro, or did, he, did they win? Did they lose that? They lost the game he had thirty nine. They won the game he had thirty nine. Okay, so with the the USA lost that game. Oh, that was the USA they played when yeah. he had thirty nine. Okay, so yeah, so they, so they, but he, I know they, lo- I know that they end up losing another. So okay, so they beat USA. And he had thirty nine, dog. In the NBA, he ain't even getting over like fourteen, if that. Yes, he is. Who? Nigga, you came here. We talked about it when he went against Miami. He cooked. Yes, Dylan that's, Brooks. No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking uh, Strudel. No, oh, that's what no, I mean, yeah, you no, 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 Hey, it's possible. Not for 39 points, dog. I think he had one good game. Not for 39 points. I'm positive. You can Google his stats. I'm sure he, he don't have, have a 39 point game. But I think you're getting him confused with the dude to no, play for the Wizards now. No, I think he did have one good game. Or you're getting him confused with Baines. I think, no, I think he, I think Brooks had, I think he had a good game. All I'm it might have been, he might have had one in the playoffs. Listen to what I'm saying. All my point of what it is, is all of these players still play in the NBA. And that's why the NBA are the yeah. world champions. So it's just certain things. That's I guess I know we kind of all over the place and we bouncing around. But I'm and then I guess we why we on sports real quick. I can be honest and sit here and say, dog, sports betting will either make you hate your favorite team. No, that's it. It ain't even matter of fact. It's not because I normally would come in here. All my black quarterbacks did what they were supposed to besides Justin Fields. And dog, I'm sick because I lost my shirt on Sunday. I got it, the crazy thing is I should have bet literally all my bets that I bet with the Ravens. I should have bet with Miami. Dog, Tua and Tyreek Hill balled out, and I know most people in this. And again, this is why I'm talking about. Um, I, I do agree with you in the chat. He do, and he, but and that be one of my first things. I get frustrated with him. He do act like a woman. And a lot of his topics even be like women dominated, and it blows me, especially for him to be an older man. Um, but yeah, but just going back into just that that whole situation with with Tua and, and Tyreek, I'm like, dog, I bet every bet that I bet with the Ravens, I'm thinking Lamar and and Odell was gonna ball out. So I swear to God, Tyreek Hill and Tua. Oh my God. I was like, though, why did I not bet with them? And now it was, and that was scared money because I just bet a money line with them. And I'm literally in like a few different group chats. Everybody's sick because it was like the people you, if you watch football, the big name players you think was supposed to ball out, bro, they didn't ball out. None of them did not ball out. They literally all play like a, a shell of themselves. The Philly, oh my God, Philly blew me, dog. I'm like, all right, only way Philly really going because I had Philly winning by 14 or more. I'm saying, okay, cool. They got to win by 14. At least he's going to throw three touchdowns. Bro, he... Oh, this nigga wet the bed, dog. Why would you... I want to... Three I touchdowns? Wanna, that's not a lot. I still want... But he don't... I think they play as a team. I, I don't think it's... It's not him just throwing. Him not throwing. They got to run game. You know what I'm saying? Like, they they score with everybody. Defense, offense. You know what I'm saying? Like no, for sure. Of course, as, as, saying, a, as, a, as a full for team. Him to him to throw three touchdowns? No. That's like saying they're saying Lamar would throw three touchdowns. He's a running quarterback. He's not going to throw three touchdowns. So, so I didn't have Lamar for throwing three touchdowns. I, I'm with you on that one because I just, but, but in my mind, I was even, and Lamar played, realistically, what, what my heart was telling me, Lamar played exactly how I thought they was going to play. They played scared, but it was like, we ain't going to do too much. Let's just play safe. And that's what I mean by scared. They just played safe. Like, we're going to win, but we're going to win safe. We're going to run the ball. They ran the ball so much that the, the running back got injured. He out for the season. I'm and I know I ain't no shade to him, but that's good because I need you to throw the rock. You need who to throw the rock? Lamar Jackson. He don't throw the rock. I've, I've been trying to tell you that for he don't throw the ball. That's why I say even him getting Odell, he's not a throwing quarterback. He's going to run it more than he throws it. Well, guess what? He didn't even run it yesterday. He didn't even run it. Not too. I needed him to get sixty yards. He ain't even give me sixty. I'm telling you, he's, you'll see. Odell going. I, 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 Odell going to be complaining before the season though. I, I, maybe I mean I don't know. I guess Sunday would give you a pass. I guess for a lot of teams, it was raining. It was raining in a lot of major cities. Most of the games were pouring down raining. Even the Dallas and and the Giants game. Because even realistically, for Gi- for Dallas to win by forty points, it was for they. Uh, Dak Prescott didn't even throw a touchdown. 
No touchdown, no interception. He only threw for 160 some yards. Oh, the defense and all that's going. Cool. Yeah. So that's my, but but that's my only thing. It was like if you were betting, and again, like I said, I was betting with all. I even again, like I said, I bet with Jalen Hurts. Of course, the only person that I just was, it was literally out of heart, and it wasn't nothing else. It was Justin Fields. You gotta take that. I I, I think you gotta. Sometimes you, when, when it comes to betting, you gotta, you gotta take, take you gotta take you gotta take out your feelings. It ain't yeah. you can't you gotta I leave your feelings that, at the door. You if you gonna bet, you gotta leave your feelings at the door, or you really gonna get your feelings hurt. But I'm just still saying, even I'm watching other people be like, you know, like I'm like hey, share your bets. Let me see what you who you betting with. Me and uh, Lizzo be uh, Shan Jones. I'm in the XIB Jones. We Shan Jones. Me and Jabo Shan Jones. But still, realistically, the people that most people were taking to have a big this is the first game of the season. You're not even at the point. Realistically, if you really going to bet, you better start checking the weather in some of these cities now. Especially if you're making your bet Sunday morning, you can easily go look at the weather. Because who to sit here and say that Lamar wouldn't have rushed for 60 if it wasn't raining? Like, of course, you're going to play a little bit more. Say, I'm not trying to get myself injured. I ain't trying to do this. Like, all right, let me kind of slow it down a little bit. But like I said, that sports betting will, man, it'll humble you fast, dog. It will humble you fast. And I'm not, we not don't got to go too far or too crazy into, um, into sports right now. We can kind of break down some of the games uh a little bit later but i do want to play this clip real quick oh 30 and you are 34 yeah and neither of you are married yeah correct and neither of you are engaged that's correct right. yes <laughs> so a generation ago it would be perceived that by this time that you all should be married absolutely y'all just here kicking it <laughs> <laughs> right right yeah right. so yeah, but at your grandfather's age, it was expected that y'all three kids in trying to process. Now I want to find myself. I want to make sure that the podcast got a million subscribers before I get married. It, it ain't got nothing to do with that on who it is in the mind frame. Who am I going to build with? Who am I going to develop with? Who am I going to dream with? As opposed to who picks me up at baggage claim. You only deal with baggage after you arrive. You got to deal with the baggage before the plane takes off. You are how old? 30. And you he shout out to Jamal Brown. I know a lot of women be on the fence with Jamal Brown, but he smoked that and it was just got on the truth. And I think realistically, most people already kind of know the at a certain age. And it's just like, I don't, and I almost want to say is it may be worse now. Like the older you get, I don't necessarily know if people even compare the marriage thing to where your parents just may have been married at a certain age or where your grandparents was at a certain age. I think more is like I'm comparing myself on the phone to somebody I may never seen before. I never met in my life. And I'm trying to figure out where am I missing it out or how I'm getting it going or where do I actually need to uh, make my strides at? Like, I think we compare ourselves more in our 30s now to things that we probably shouldn't even compare because you don't even know people's backstory sometimes or how did they got started to where they may be at. But when going back into just being married, it is crazy to be like, think about if you got parents or family members who have made it to oh this is our 40th anniversary and they may be only like in their 60s or 70s think about how at the age that they got married that means late 20s early 30s most people listening right now you probably in your late 20s early 30s or mid 30s late 30s and it's kind of like sometimes in your mind like especially the more you had these conversations most people ain't even thinking twice about getting married like it don't even come across their brain some days where it's like i don't even care you don't even care until you just your phone just super dry. Or one day you just in the house watching something in a weather band. That's the only time you be like, oh, I wish I had a boo. But just think about how far our brains is like to what we compare about. Like most people even and we can tie this almost into Steve Harvey, where it's like nobody is going to want to sit here. And I get it because Steve Harvey is super rich. But, bro, we have to be honest and have to be real. Bro, lose some weight. This conversation of Steve Harvey being actually being cheated on by his wife would not be a conversation if he was a sexy man. Pause, dog. That's it. That's the only question. The reason why people, nobody would never question the young Miami ever step out on Diddy. You know why? Because women find Diddy attractive and he's super rich. Nobody finds Steve Harvey attractive and you keep looking at his wife like, oh, she's probably think, cheating on him. I don't think that. What else is it then, Marcus? Because he made that thing like a man um, book. What do that mean? That book, I mean, the book. Oh, no, let's movie. be real. How many black people really read that book, especially but men who movie. feel some type of I mean, but it's still the movie and everything else. I feel like that whole thing that I think that's why they get on or even talking about Steve because he have done a lot of relationship or he even said, you know, motivation. Like, that's why I think where you you do like Diddy don't speak on his relationships. He do what he do. He don't talk about it. Yes, he say love. He promote love. He do all this. You know what I'm saying? But he's never spoke on his relationship when with the whole Carisha thing. He ain't never say, oh, we together. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. he never talks about him being in a relationship. But I think we, even with Steve Harvey, because you praise this good life, good wife, all this. You know what I'm saying? 
I think that's the expectation you look at. But damn, how, why is your wife cheating on you? But but listen to what I'm saying. No, what I'm saying is it would never be a room. Listen to that. Just, and, just, and I could tie it. And I don't, don't want to jumble up too many topics at once. But I told y'all uh, probably almost a year ago that I didn't, or, or at least a couple months ago, I didn't think that Amal Shepard and Tiana Taylor was in a in like in a real marriage. No, he never shows up to none of her big stuff. But because both of those people are beautiful people, people just like, oh, yeah, whatever. It don't matter. Just They both successful. They don't anything. So you brushed over it. But the reason why this Steve Harvey thing you keep catching legs, because you got two eyes and you look at Steve Harvey. And of course, most men ain't comfortable in their own skin to be like, oh, Steve Harvey just look like trash and nobody don't want to see him naked. So that's why it's so believable that he, you look at his wife and be like, oh, she looked better, way better than him. Obviously, she cheating on him. And for people who don't know why that even became a story, I'm going to find that. Uh, let me get that clip of where his... Um, his part. What was the, his homegirl? Strawberry. Uh, to do the show with him, she had a clip. She. It was a clip of that got leaked of her talking to her, um, to her husband, on on a jail phone call. I don't know what Steve Harvey done done to somebody to make people want to leak a jail phone call, which is kind of crazy. Like, I mean, I don't know who this. I would. I mean, I've listened to the show, but I'm not looking to be like, oh, she calling her husband. Let me go. Let me record her phone call. I'm saying it ain't like they was on there talking about moving work. So it was like, why record it and leak? I mean, of course, all jail phone calls are recorded, but we're talking about recording it and putting it out. Like, why? You know what? They have a uh, Marjorie has her own spa, her own workout room, and her own spa. And she could go in there and get um, massages every day. People come to her house and, um, damn. Uh, and work her out and all of that. I was like, oh, God, what a dream. <laughs> Does she look old, though? Does she look like she's getting old? No, I haven't seen her, but she looks good on her pictures. Oh, she ain't there? No, she's not there. If she was there, we probably wouldn't have been all over the house. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> but he's done it. No, you know he's scared. Damn, sure, right, guy. What you say? You know he's scared, yeah. <laughs> All of that, yeah. But, yeah <laughs> everything. I, I knew I wasn't supposed to be in there, but he, he brought it. So again, so for people who don't know if that if that clip if the clip was too low, she basically was sitting here saying that he, she believes that Steve Harvey is scared of his wife, and it necessarily may not be scared of her, but he may be scared to lose her. And and I, and and after we let me, I'm gonna take a break and we come back in with the clip of Steve Harvey with him explaining. Like how he had nothing and him and his wife got married when he had nothing. I hear you, Uncle Steve. All I'm telling you is stop talking about how much bread you got. Delete one of those shows and take your old behind to the gym, sir. That's it. I don't care how else y'all feel about it or how you want to dress it. I got two eyes. You got two eyes. Google pictures Steve Harvey and his wife and you tell me that that woman don't look like she going to cheat on him. And what he, he never going to come out and say it because then that will crush his ego. He ain't too old. He can't. All he can do is deny it. But I'm telling you, this wouldn't be a conversation if I looked at a picture of them and it didn't look like, oh, yeah, I, I can believe she cheated on him. When you look at Steve Harvey, he looked like he's supposed to be cheated on. But like I said, for people who are new to the YouTube, um, yeah, you got to just give me like a second while we're doing the podcast episode, letting the clips load up. Uh, yeah, YouTube, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell another friend. Like I said, like share I, and I subscribe. promise you, if you got, if you hear because of the, the headlines and you love Joe and you love whatever you in the podcast, all I ever ask is let me roll for like a couple minutes. You give me, you're going to hear conversations that you want to hear from men. You don't want, if you're tired of hearing the loving hip hop conversations and all that other weird stuff, just give me a few minutes. We can rock and roll. I got you. Whatever your favorite rapper is, we're going to talk about it. Sports, we're going to talk about it. Whatever. And we're going to talk about some of the stuff that the, the women like too. But so, so we're going to balance it out. Like, share, and subscribe. Mr. Crazy War. Mr. Crazy War. Yo, CEO Mikey. Like, share, and subscribe. Archer Podcast. I was disappointed in, in Glorilla, though. I ain't gonna hold you. They kind of slummed it up super hard. <laughs> I, can't, I was like, come on, Glow. You can't do that. You know that cardio on there. That's what I'm saying. Like a song like that, yes.
Make sure you need to tap in. I used to fold with purple, but that was bad then. Now that shit fame got me bent, won't catch me lacking. You can tell if it's a blow of my reaction. I just bag the bitch from Texas with an accent. That's then you know she's sending Texas with an accent. I pull up on a bitch like get your ass in. I ain't tripping on no shit that's in the past ten. I be on that shit, I be trying to go legit They be asking me what drugs you on when you be writing this And I like how that check be look when you be writing this I saw my dog can write a bank if you can sit and write a this I know you trying to get your anger off and put it in a mix You need to channel all that energy and put it in it. You need to focus on your craft, need to focus on your shit I gotta go get to a bag before I go and get a fish I got a thousand on the birds, I need a cool to get a hit These niggas goofy, they in the way, we don't know who these niggas with She says she wanna switch I can show you how to roll a zip. I ain't trying to fuck your hoe, I ain't even a temp. I can give you a job, baby, I can make you a temp. I hate saying I'm him, I'm really him. I can put that thing on you, how you walking with a love. You gotta stand on business too, you're uh-huh. not exempt. You need to get on your shit, you need to tap in. I used to fold with purple, but that was bad then. Now that shit fit, you got me bent, won't catch me lacking. You can tell if it's a dog, my reaction. Uh-huh. I just bagged the bitch from Texas with an accent. That's then you know she's sending Texas with an accent. People don't know who that is. That is Lizzo. He is based out of the DMV. I'm not a Washington Redskins fan, but I just had to put it in the background because it's just, it is what it is. I lost bread against them too. I'm sick. Let's rock and roll, dog. Where is that? Uh, let's get right to it. Like TCB used to do it. <sighs> Just lying about my girl. We're talking about she was in my other marriage and ruined it. She didn't. My marriage, I got divorced in 2005. But in 2005, let me help you to something. I had nothing. I lost the radio show we were on in L.A., on March 23rd, and I lost the only TV show I had, May 10th. I mean, May 20, May 23rd, I lost the radio show, and May 10th, I lost the TV show. Steve Harvey had no money. I went with Marjorie again, uh, New Year's Eve, met her, talked to her. She was with her kids in Hawaii. We got together in 2006. We had nothing. When I asked her to marry me at the end of 2006, and, I, and then she, she said she wanted to get married in 2007, I sold it too soon. I, I got to get some stuff together. We got married in 2007. Do you know what I was doing in 2007? Nothing. We had four. We had four stations in 2005. Four. We built this. All of us built this. We had four stations. We turned this into something. But that woman got down in that foxhole with me and turned this into something. In 2007, we got married. In 2008, we found out that somebody had stolen seven years of my tax return. I ain't gonna mention no name. And we owed the government $22 million and we in debt. But then guess what? She stayed with me in that. Then guess what? In 2009, I got Family Feud. In 2009, the book came out. In 2012, the talk show came out. I'm telling you, this woman got in the hole and built this with me. She didn't steal nothing. And I'm tired of y'all talking about my girl because my girl is one of the best women I've ever met. And why you black ass people out there like you just going to destroy somebody? I don't really know what that's about. But don't worry about it because it ain't working. Because all we are now, we are a tighter two-handed circle. Thank you for doing that. And So So my only thing with Steve Harvey with that situation is Dog, you've been rich my whole entire life. I was in elementary school. You already had the Steve Harvey show. Dog, nobody's hating on you because you're rich. You've been rich. 90% of the people who comment on any comment section, you've been rich our entire life. Nobody's hating on you. Again, and for you to have to feel like you got to explain all that, Oh, you look in the mirror and you see the man boobs. You know you don't look down and see your cock no more, Jack. Get it together, bro. Because you wouldn't have to explain all this. Don't listen to how he's trying. Don't you are Steve Harvey. Listen to how he tried. Don't he sound like a sad puppy the way he got to explain why him and his wife together. Dog, LeBron James is LeBron James. His wife don't got to do nothing. And he ain't never coming on nobody's TV and explaining why he with his wife. You know why? Because he's LeBron. And when we when she put that fits on, we be like, oh, yeah, we get it, LeBron. And she raising all your kids. So we really get it. What? 
Like, stop. We though we have to listen to as black men, though, we have to literally stop giving other men passes for not taking care of themselves, dog. It's too many young dudes who be dying for certain things. The older you get, your body ain't working the right way. Dog. I'm not giving Steve Harvey a pass because he's rich. Yes, you're rich and you look like dog ass. Sorry. Somebody got to tell us so, woman. No, but it's a lot of people out there that look that body's not that. I don't think you saying that. So explain wanted, to me why he sounded the way he sounded. I, I I don't think, but but you're you're what you're telling me is she left him for what? A, she a ain't no she, body? she no. Listen, what I'm saying she didn't leave him. But dog, if you sit here and think that she ain't cheating on him or don't and never been tempted at if her personal dog, I don't never. I, you ain't been to the gym, so you may don't look at how those personal trainers work out. But that dog, on, even if you go to number one. uh What's the the dating jumps when people dating somebody and their person and may cheat on them or people be no it be first thing personal trainer and and it, and it clients no you see this and I'm sure this woman can afford the greatest trainers on planet Earth so you sitting here thinking this man you heard with the how the woman explained it she got her own private thing where people can come in and massage that's why she made sure she said that she no. got her own private massage where she can go in the jump and get massaged on. So if you sit like I hear what you're saying, but though you are you're being a blind ego male where you're thinking no, it's not it's because not, if you I because think, I got some bread, I ain't gonna get cheated on, huh? All right. I mean, at the end of the day, you can get cheated on whether you look good or whether you don't look good, regardless. You can't I, I hear you. You can't that, that you saying because you your body, you look, you can't see your shit. That, that, time on play. Guess what? Let, let's let's bring it to your home. Let's bring it to your home. D Wade and Gabrielle Union. She violated her first husband or whoever that dude was. Why? He was a football player, and he looked like a football player. He looked like a not the new football player that played alignment. That man had man boobs, and he couldn't see his cock. And guess what she said? Yeah, I stepped out on him. Look at him. She said it. I didn't. What you what you said? Dog, stop. Listen to what I'm telling you. We ain't 2020. Going into 2024, we ain't about to keep giving niggas excuses for looking like poop. Because guess what they're going to keep doing? They're going to keep dying, and they're going to keep getting on the microphone crying like Steve Harvey. So I'm, you got to no, be not. in shape to keep your wife. Yes. All right. Okay. So, so, but guess what? Hold time on. So, time on. So, what you sit here saying? The older men don't do that to to their wives. Do men do older? Do rich men cheat on their wife because their wife has lost the sauce? Yes or no? Just answer the question. Stop giving me. Stop. I don't know. I need I yes or no that. answers. You said what? Do rich men cheat on their wives because they get old and washed? I don't know. I'm not rich. I don't have rich. I don't know, nigga. You asking me questions. I don't hang. Okay, well, let me answer. Let me answer the question for you. Yes, they do. Just like and you, you stay in the gym. I don't work. That's why I say. So, so, but that's cool. I, but listen I, to me. I'm, I'm, I get what you, I, you're. You're trying to say he needs to lose his weight, but he's still Steve Harvey, right? You telling me he cannot find nobody else? I, I don't think he wants to. No, I, right. So then that's that's you're saying a man. Okay, I'm well established. I don't need nobody else, right? No, I don't I'm want happy. nobody else. I don't. Okay, I don't want nobody else. But you're saying, well, she might have left him. Okay, well, let's say his sex is not good. You saying because he can't see his body. What do your body have to do? You saying your body. What do that have to do with anything? So, okay, can I? Okay, just I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you why. Because the older you get, and then if you're not in shape. You're, that's why they get ED. That's that's why they had those pills. That's why when they got uh, what's the joke? The first thing they leave with when they be selling those testosterone pills, it'll make your sex better. They leave with that for a reason, dog. You maybe because you're still a little bit younger. You still think you talking like, oh yeah, when twenty I'm years from now, that my cock how, may not how, shut how, down but, but on me. You're not gonna sit here and say because I can't see how many nigga Trump. Okay, you think Trump better? Trump body is better than than Steve Harvey? No, and and that's why his wife stepped out and leave him and don't be with him. So when the last say, time you seen Trump so, with his wife? No, I'm glad no, you no. brought him up. When was the last time you seen Donald Trump with his wife? I'm I glad you brought him but up. No, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't. It's know. been a long time. But my question is to you. This nigga just got hit with a Rico. His guess what? Mariah the scientist is holding young thug down more than you will see uh, Melania Trump Yo, hold Donald time Trump I've down. Seen Mariah Cyrus, God damn. All I'm just saying is that I hear what you're saying and I guess what else I'm saying. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you, uh, you, you, you be, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, you, I don't get it. No, and, that, and somebody even in the chat said it. Just imagine realistically you paying for your wife to stay sexy and she getting her cheeks clapped over. You paying for it basically. No, you're going to be sick and that's why Steve Harvey over there. No, listen, he sound like he the one who cheated. <laughs> All the excuses he coming up with, why, why him and his wife supposed to be good and why they together? He sound like he the one out here cheating. That's crazy to me, dog. Thank you. I, like I said, I, I don't, the way I like I said, I don't get with the weight and all that. Saying, I, like I said, you might not because got because it no Marcus, more. this is what I'm saying. No, anybody who says that women, dog, listen, what I'm saying this is a, a conversation that maybe only men should have with men, and don't let nobody. Women will sit here and lie to you and make you be like, I don't never look at Idris Elba. I don't think Michael B. Jordan. Dog, Michael B. Jordan don't talk on his Instagram. Women don't be all geeking over Kevin Hart because dog, like, come on, all right, bro. So and I guess Lori the rock, Harvey leave uh, Michael B. Jordan. 
She's younger than two. But 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 I'm. She but ain't she, leave. That's what she ain't leave Michael B. Jordan for no slouch neither. She ain't. She didn't. She went and ran with the hottest so on TV you, so you show. Say he got better body. No, oh, right. but it don't so matter. He's still popping matters. though. He's okay. That's it, okay. It don't matter. Don't worry about it. So you, so some random reason, Steve Harvey feels if 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 this wasn't happening in his house, he wouldn't have no reason to sit here and be on this thing begging for people to leave his wife alone. My marriage is good. Well, he wouldn't have to speak on it. No, D Wade and Gabriel Union got the wildest stories in America, and guess what? Them two ain't never coming on nobody microphone to do and then explain nothing to y'all. They gonna give you all the wild stories and tell y'all to take it how it is. Right, because that's what you hire the people that cover up. But you, but but he don't. D Wade don't talk on the mic every day. But Gabriel Union do, and she no, go she crazy when, when she do. She do when she no, talk. No, she no. talk. But Steve Harvey has a radio show. Mm -hmm. He is a personality. He's mm -hmm. on TV every day. Okay, well, Gabrielle and D Way are not on TV every day. No, but for when sure. they conversation, when they like, you never seen who you don't even know who he had the other baby with. No, you don't. You don't. You don't even see that information for sure. But that's what I'm saying because Steve Harvey is on the radio. He talk about you know God bless all this. Woo woo woo. We trying to figure out what happened. That's just like okay. TD, do TD Jakes got the best body in his? No, but get, do you think? But, but, whole, whole time, no shade to his wife. TD Jakes' wife don't look like she would cheat on him neither. Why? Because she big. And she's older, yes. Okay. I, 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 don't, I, I, I don't know what planet y'all live in, but if you think that I'm in shape, hold time, hold time, hold time, hold time, hold time. Hold time, hold time, hold time. Nigga, you and he got a six pack. So what? That's but what do that mean? And nigga, I can I can still nigga, I can sit here and still go like this and ain't no nothing. Nigga, uh, you hear that? This ain't no ain't no Harlem shaking over here, baby. I don't care. It don't have to have a six pack, nigga, but it ain't this in here doing a goddamn cream pie neither. What the hell are you talking about? I don't like be serious. So a female told you she wants you because of your body? Oh. Do it when I post work, gym work. No, you're trying to. No, you're not about to sit here. I'm not about. I'm not keep doing this with you, podcast niggas. You're not about to keep having me indict myself until you ready to indict yourself. <laughs> Get the fuck off hey, my dick. No, you I'm not, no, I'm not. It's not happening. Sorry. Try again. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. You ain't stupid. I don't post gym workout videos for no reason. You ain't dumb. Like, huh? stop playing stupid. Come anyway. Next conversation. Let's get into this NBA. Young boy. Uh, just talk. <laughs> you just said anything. I was not too close, but not too far. Okay. I don't know what you want. You know what I mean? Sometimes clients, they want you next to them. Sometimes they want you to play the outfield. Okay. But I ain't knowing. Um, fully of them came to the, 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 the hotel in Orlando. <laughs> but I was off the clock. Yeah. Oh, shit. And I just watched. I was watching it. Like, he, oh. NBA had his little entourage, and Fully had his entourage. And, like, none of them kick off. But, you know, I'm off the clock. You on your own. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. If I was on the clock, yeah. I'd have regulate this shit. You know yeah. what I mean? But I wasn't on the clock. So it's like, you know, fuck you. Fuck me. Fuck me. Excuse my language. But Especially sometimes you got to give it to them like that because they talk so street and they sometimes try to apply it in the business. And I'm not with that. Come to me as a business. Yeah, man. for sure. Or, you know, you come in crooked. Well, all right, let's go. You know what I mean? But it seems like he wanted you to be a gang member and not a bodyguard. I don't know. What do you want it? Cause you just me mugging, and I just like, yo, this is my face. You saw my face. This is my natural. Yeah, look. yeah, yeah. I've been through some shit. Yeah, back home, so I'm not faking. I'm not. You can see he fixes his face to look hard. Like I don't like nah. <laughs> I ain't gotta do that. I, I'm not. So there was a there was a standoff at the hotel with young boy and Fulio, or is it just? Yeah, it wasn't really a standoff. Like Fulio them came to the hotel. I guess they know the hotel, so they was probably up and out looking for. Um, NBA young boy, and then they went outside, and then young boy came downstairs. But fully had more people with him. Mm. But um, I left. I catch the lift, and I went to the <laughs> airport because I'm off the clock. I'm not responsible. You got this figure out. Yeah. You know, go ahead. You know what I mean? Like I said, I got kids to go home to. All right. So the that? reason, huh? Who was that? It was a security guard who was security. Uh, was security guard for NBA young boy, and this happened maybe I want to say this happened almost like two years ago now. But I guess he's telling the story where NBA. Yeah, this had to be like two years ago, or maybe even a little bit longer than that, because NBA young boy been on house arrest for a minute. But anyway, this was I think he was doing a show in Florida, and um, he was doing a show in Florida, and basically I guess he you know. He, they knew what hotel he was in by, I guess, however, like, seeing the background or whatever the case may be. So a local rapper, uh, Fulio, from Florida, I think he's he from Jacksonville, Florida, and he pulled up at the hotel and basically tried to confront NBA Youngboy, but NBA Youngboy wasn't rocking, so they had their little, but it, how much can y'all really get into with y'all in a hotel? Like, and it's cameras everywhere, so you can kind of only, like, mean mug each other and have a stay off. But even the reason why I wanted to even play this clip, and then I kind of wanted to tie this back into, and of course, this conversation is super old, but I do want to remind y'all, because this did just happen over uh, last week. Lil Baby had a, a concert um, in Memphis, where the Grizzlies play at. All the people, oh, John Morant, why are you this, that, and the third? Where John Morant plays his 41 games, somebody let that iron fly. 
But everybody was, oh, go get some security and pay for this. So I wanted to play a security guard who literally, this is the energy. So you imagine what y'all said is like, go pay somebody. You don't need your own iron. Pay somebody else to protect you. And you heard the way that the security guard felt about a client. What? I ain't never heard an NBA player getting shot. Oh, you never heard about Paul Pierce getting stabbed up? Not Ben Zingo. I, I never heard an NBA player. Have you you never heard him get shot up, but you've heard Paul Pierce get stabbed nine times in Boston by Benzino. No, I didn't know that's who he got stabbed up, but okay, that, that okay. But other than that, I never heard nothing with no NBA players. I, but I still just gave you one. You hold on, listen to what I said. I listen to what I just said. Somebody got shot in a concert where the Grizzlies play. So you, this is why I hate y'all. Act like y'all don't live in the real world. Y'all don't never cut. Some of y'all may. You may have the luxury that you never cut the news on and see what's going on in your actual area. But guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring it to your actual ears, and you're going to have to figure out a way to explain to me how somebody had a gun inside of a basketball arena and shot somebody. And guess what the person did? As soon as he get hit, he in the hospital bed. And this is how. And people be like, oh well, you don't have to post it on. And I'm not saying you don't have to have a gun, but don't post it on the internet. Well, just guess what? How dumb this generation is of kids, this in their twenties. He in the hospital, bulletproofed all up. He got patches and wires hanging all out of him. He on the bed. Someone, yeah, I can't never let a op get me. That was what's name? Uh, he was uh, some relation to uh, Young, uh, Young, Young Dolph. Dolph. I don't. I, some uh, one of the people who signed to Young Dolph that nobody ever listened to. It don't really matter. Like I felt like that just made the, the headline a little bit saucier. Let us tell y'all he was related to Young Dolph. But again, my question of it is: Is everybody like, oh, you get security? Well, I just played with how sometimes a security guard feel about you. You can pay somebody, and guess what he said? I still got to get home to my kids. That's all I'm saying. He still don't want to get home to his kids, and that's how he felt. And John, and somebody got clapped with John Morant play at 41 games. I saw him. Hey, you, because y'all don't live in Memphis. Oh, and guess what? Let me do another stat for you. When the crime rate has went down everywhere in America, besides guess where the two places are? Washington, D.C., and Memphis. Not the crime rate, the murder rate. Keep your tool on you. That's all. I just want. I just wanted. I just wanted to refresh it, and I just wanted to remind people. Y'all be thinking y'all know everything, and y'all be telling niggas to go get security and do this and that. Man, shut up. Um, shout out to Ice Spice. Ice Spice has got her own Dunkin' Donuts uh frozen drink coming out. It's called Pumpkin Munchkin. <laughs> and I guess we could kind of tie that back into the conversation that I wanted to have with uh Ice Spice. The sexy red come and take the thunder from Ice Spice. Um, and I guess realistically, it depends on how you... You're talking about rap-wise? Yeah. But I think realistically, for some people will give a pushback is stat-wise. Because people going to always go to stats. If you When you arguing and, and, if, and if culturally impact, your cultural impact is kind of teetering away, first thing people going to throw up to you is, oh, but I got a number one hit or I got a top 10 to this and a third. Who? Ice Spice, Spice, for sure. She got one with Nicki Minaj. That Bobby World, John, I think it charted at like, I think it, I know for a fact it made it to the top 10. But you can't even claim that because that's just, I mean, that song right there, you can't claim that you made that song chart because that's, a, it's a, first of all, it's a sample song. It's mm -hmm. for a movie. If if we put, if we took out Ice Spice and put Sweetie on there, you wouldn't know the difference, right? Nah, I ain't gonna say that. Cause that's because I think that's her sound. That even that grrrr, give me the that, that whole little beat and that but it's still that's still her make, swag. But I don't feel like Ice Spice made that song. Yeah, but that beat and that style wouldn't have been a beat or a style if it wasn't for Ice Spice. I don't think so. How you because heard Sweetie they, version? Sweetie no, version didn't, didn't sound version. like I didn't that. Have, I didn't hear Sweetie version. They actually played it. Yeah, she played it on her. Well, that's how it became yeah, a thing. Cause she played it on her Instagram played, live. But it, it, it. no, it didn't sound like that. The beat didn't sound like nothing. All it had was a sample. The beat sound nothing like that or nothing. I don't think. That, that song, I, I don't think she made it a hit. I think just because of the song, the concept, it was full Barbie. Because what was the other one uh, that she on? Diana, was Diana Ross, right? Princess Diana? That, that charted. All them songs charted. Oh, charted. No, that charted, much charted. She don't get it twisted. Her, she got a lot of songs that have charted. That Princess Diana definitely charted. That Bar I think the highest one probably was, I want to say probably was Barbie World. Probably did the highest, like rank-wise. But all of them charted on the Billboard 100. So she had I'm, at least had like okay, four so, songs so, on the Billboard. So 100. I would ask you, what more matter, culture impact or you been on the show? Uh, to me, culture impact. I would, if you're sitting here saying, if I had to man, if which one I was managing right now and which one probably has a little bit more longevity and an easy way to kind of bounce back, it would be Sexy Red because it's not like, it's, it's genuine 
people genuinely like her. It's not, and don't get it twisted. I but do. I, 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 I mean, me personally, like if we talking about just managing wise. I feel like Ice Spice might have a longer life show than Sexy Red. Oh, okay, the reason, but why I say why I say she don't, or it will be harder because it's like when you go that pop and you get that commercial, you you'll end up being even just like Cardi, where you you're starting to question how fast you want to put certain songs out because you're always looking for um, that, that success. You're looking for a chart now. You're chasing chart songs. With Sexy Red, just putting out anything. Perfect example, like when she got on that eggplant song, like you said, I'm not looking for Sexy Red to buy it up. So you wasn't disappointed in her verse because you wasn't looking for nothing else from her. But for somebody, again, why? and that's why it was so much pressure and people judging Meg and Nicki because WAP was such a, I mean, not Meg and Nicki, but Meg and Cardi, that song was such a big song. It charted so high. It stayed at number one for such a long time. It went platinum however many times over. Now that's what I'm judging you off of. So that's why when you sit here saying, would I rather have the cultural impact even if I'm a manager? That money is almost guaranteed money, but as long as you just keep being you. That's all sexy red. She's just being ratchet, dog. She ain't being nothing else. That's probably the most easiest thing for any black person to do because that's the side that most people, the hard part is to try to not be ratchet, but the easy thing, I can just, you can turn up and just say the wildest thing ever. Oh, it's going to go viral. She don't have to do nothing else. So you th you agree with it? Did she did she quiet Ice Spice down? Yes, but don't get it twisted. But again, if you sitting here judging, if you want, if your goal is to go to Nikki route, let me be a super mega pop star. Let me get all the magazine covers. Of course, you New York Fashion Week was going on this week. That just passed this weekend. It just passed. Ice Spice was all over the place. She was at all the at all the fashion shows. She was she literally like we just said she got a Dunkin' Donuts junk coming out. So so let's let's be honest. Yes, those checks right now hit way harder. Them checks is crazy. I would be love to cash them checks right now. But if we sitting here saying for the moment, you rather be Ice Spice. I mean, you rather be Sexy Reds than Ice Spice. Not even moment. just for the moment, even for the long term. Because even if we just let's compare Ice Spice to Boosie. I mean, not Ice Spice, but a uh, Sexy Red to Boosie. To me, that's that would be the male version wise. That would be the easy comparison where I can compare her to Boosie. Dog, Boosie can. Okay, who else came out with Boosie? I got, you gotta give me somebody who was who who was more mainstream right now. Plies, plies. No, oh, who else was out there? I mean, now? I'm right. We just thinking off the top of my head, but that. But listen to what I'm saying, though. Look how hard. Like, no, but no, but like listen, but how hard it is to chase Bussy Baby. No, no, no. Because I feel like Plies had. I think Plies had a lot of songs in his catalog, but I think what what messed him up is the whole it wasn't. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, we, that, that's what, that, that, you know, what I'm saying that's what killed him. But even still, Plies can you know? Oh, you could, oh, we could say Ace Hood. Look at Ace Hood. Ace, Ace Hood, Hood was, was on. Was around, I mean, probably around the same time. But let's, or let's just say the early two thousands. Okay, Ace Hood. But just think about it. He had all those big songs. He was on all those big songs. He the Ace Hood kept a hit, but it didn't. But you don't have no real core fan base. And you can say that about Ice Spice. It's like, yes, we like the you got the catchy little songs. They they charting. You're you're a pop. You you're poppy. But do you have a real solid fan base? And it's realistically, I don't think I, I I don't think she has a fan base. I feel like she has a face and an image where I can put her with anybody, and you're just gonna you're gonna you know what I'm saying. Whether it's from Nikki's fan, whether it's from Taylor's, you know what I'm saying. She's gonna get a, a fan. She's gonna get a new fan from each song or each person she is seen with. Sexy Reds, I don't think that's the same way with her. Yeah. So, but that so that's my point. So just right now though, but even if we and even if we just compare music, who gets certain plays right now? To be honest, it, and again, why I say the cultural impact matters more because it's like, I think one thing people can respect is it's not the industry that's forcing Sexy Red on us. It's the people. It's the other. And again, that's when right. I and, and again, and again, when I said and when I said it earlier, when I was talking to a homegirl of mine, it's more realistically, it's more people who can relate to hood rat stuff than you can with the the the, the super polished and pretty ice spice type of thing. Everybody don't got it like that to sit here and be super prissy and poppy and go on the fashion week and all that. People will fake like they can, but realistically, more people can relate to sexy yeah. red oh. on the hood rat. Oh. <laughs> What? I don't know. You don't know what? You don't know more poor people than you know people who can afford to go to fashion week or can afford to care about the fashion stuff? Are you being serious? No, I'm saying I think more people will will, will, will go for the 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 ice spice. And it, it, it's like it's no, 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 no. You're missing what I'm saying. I ain't saying what you will go for. I'm talking what's more relatable. What's your everyday life? What is more when I who when I look at is easier for me to be sexy red than it is for me to be ice spice. 
it's easier for me to go sit here and do some hood rap stuff with my hood rap friends and be sexy red than it is for me to sit here and be made up and be at fashion week and turning up with uh tom tommy hill figure and all this other stuff do that far that's so far out of reach not even just for regular people but even for some rappers so, but the sexy red thing is super relatable and that's why people like it so much. And it's, and nobody never wants to have those conversations. It's the sad truth, but it's the truth, dog. She is more relatable. More people, it's, I can go in Southeast and sit here and say, hey, who are you? Who, who can you relate more to? I can go in Northeast or I can go in Suitland. I can go wherever and be like, hey, who can you relate more to? Can you relate more to sexy red or Ice Spice? 90% of the people going to say sexy red. Even just her music, just like you talking about Hellcats and like people, dog. That's what people do. This is always a running joke. Oh, people go sign up for the Hummy so they can get a charger. That was before the Hellcats and stuff. Or you just wanted to go get a Hemi. So even for that song, like that's more relatable to the average black person than whatever Ice Spice talking about some Barbie world. So if I play, if I sit here and play, yeah, that Barbie song is, of course, is a big commercial song. It's on a big movie. But if I sit here and say, I'm going to play these two songs, tell me which one is more relatable than you. Matter of fact, I'm going to just make it even way easier. I'm going to play Barbie World and I'm going to play Ski. What's more relatable to you? When you see me, you understand? Ski, that is it. That's it, dog. That's a woman, dog. She was on Hard Knocks. We just talked about it last week. It's so, like I get, I understand how sometimes some or some black people we want to act like we uppity and we above all dog. No, it's not. We just talking facts right now. No, I'm, I'm not gonna say that it's uppity. I just feel like I I, I think use another song besides the Barbie World because I feel like the Barbie World that's a catch. It was a so, catchy yeah, but, song. So, no, so you miss no, so because you, even when we was growing up, that Barbie World song. Oh, 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 that's why I say. Okay, so, I think, okay, so okay, but that's you say. Okay, so, you but that's what I'm saying. Age, so you put the age on it. That's what I say. So if you use another song. Like her, um, what's name? Princess Diane. It, like use another song with. Like when you use the Bobby World, I feel like the Bobby World. When you say the ski, we is all on the age group. Yes, who you ask? Uh, of course, but but so her original song when she originally came out, she was hood. So you talking about much people? Everybody can relate to much. Every girl, all the girls was eating that up because oh, you can call a nigga a much. Cool, but but you can't again. Sometimes you get too like when you're going when you start to let them clean you up too much and you go to the Kim K route. Yes, that look at that moment is great, but when you go so pop and you become so big and you get on stage with Taylor Swift, you do a song okay, with so Taylor Swift, me, no, it's hard to come so, back from so that. I'm gonna dog. Ask you right now, I'm gonna give you three options Munch, FNF, and what's bigger, Pound Town or Ski Week? Ski E might be right now. But I'm still taking F and F of all three of them. You taking F and F? Yeah, for sure. That, that ain't. Even. I'm just that's what I'm oh, saying. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, still, I'm still taking F and F. And let's be clear, Glorilla's still hanging on right now today because people praying that she can pull another F and F out of the back of her hat, and it don't look like she can. But all I do, and you know, again, sometimes, and one thing you got to understand about the power of your voice, and I and I troll low on them every time about this when they when they show that the picture of them girls, y'all didn't hear that nowhere else. You heard nobody else call them out for them not being together, but me. And now they're together and it's still. I, I mean, they, she missed a moment. I don't care. I just want my I just want my credit for you to see them get back together. I don't care what I can't. I'm not in the studio with them. I can't tell you. I can't make them make a hit. But all I just sit here and say that it was called out. That video went viral. I'm sure she heard it. And then that's what the next thing. The next thing you seen her do was her get back in the studio with them. I can't make the song. I'm not in the song. I'm not in the studio with them. I can't make the music. I'm just telling you what happened. I'm telling you the chain of events and what happened. It is what it is. But like I said, um, we can kind of, oh yeah, just I guess we can because we talked about enough women stuff for like a second. We can kind of bounce on to uh shout out to LeBron James. LeBron James was feeling some way, and he's and you know, again, what I think sometimes with with social media, a lot of us forget or you don't believe that this is possible. Celebrities look at social media. You be thinking you trolling them, and then they be like, Okay, all right, y'all, you want to keep keep posting. Re we lost. Y'all keep posting this, whatever the track boy, and now I'm gonna go get me in my NBA Hall of Fame friends that still play basketball. Let me go get Steph Curry. Let me go get KD, Jason Taylor. Because guess what? If LeBron played, the rest of them going to play. It, I mean, it, it's at Olympics. It's, I'm pretty sure a lot and of them... And it's in Paris. So, yeah, of course not. Why not? A lot of them are going to play. They're going to go into it. I, I, like I said, I'm going to get on you. I mean, you know, I'm going to make my jokes with you about, you know, the USA team and get on you about... But that's why I feel like let's not take it, you know, for, like I said, at the end of the day, that team that they put out there, it wasn't the best team. We said that from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And like I try to tell you, like, these foreign teams are better. Just even looking at Canada, Canada didn't even have their top two players on their team. Just like Saudi Arabia didn't have Joker. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these teams, Giannis didn't play. It's a lot of these teams that don't have their top players playing. Of course. And that's why I said the day basketball and how it is, it's a lot different from what it was back in the mm -hmm. day. But, yes, if the USA 
actually, you know, got on their shit and put their shit together. And I think that's more of, of anything, I think, because I heard on, the, on on NBA when I turned it on, they were saying, I think it's more so of a pride thing. Or was it Gilbert? One of them, like, if you want to take your pride and you just be like, all right, we need to, you know, let's, let's play and let's do it. Mm-hmm. And I get it. You want me to sit here and play all these games during the regular season and then and now still you want me to, to go do play two months Olympics, over there. Olympics, so sure. I think that's why I said it's, I think it's just the time, you know, like that's my only time free. You want me to sit here. No, and, 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 I mean, and of course, and we, say, and a lot of talk- people are getting older. Your body's not can't take that way and say you don't want to try. No, not not even necessarily that. These they getting older and these men are married. And they got kids because how often are you going to keep, you can't keep pushing that off, but so long. We talked about this a couple, we talked about this a couple weeks ago when we, we saw about Gilbert Arenas and, and uh, Amal Shepard and they was both talking about, that was one of the things like when retiring as a, as a basketball dad, now you can take your kids to school. You can be more hands on as a parent. You kids to do school. When? As an NBA player? Yeah. How? What you mean? They go to school in the morning. You're not doing nothing in the morning? Uh, well, the way they explained it, like it wasn't happening, oh, nothing, no I night game. Like, I mean, you you yeah right because you're probably getting your rest or whatever the case may be. But yeah, still, nigga, it's like people with regular jobs. You you got to do whatever you got to do. You got to wake up in the morning and take your kids to work. Yeah, that all sounds cool. If I wasn't a multimillion, I'm not getting up. What, so what is my wife doing? Nothing. Yeah, stop. See now, there, there you go. Then that's what I'm saying. You can't. Yeah, well, yeah, okay, that's okay, what, then which one go- you want to be? Then you can't say, "Well, I'm not going to be a good dad because I can't." That's what I'm saying. Which one you want to be? Because you the same person. I'm gonna kick your back in if you're not working out no more. Now you're getting fat. Cause you want to take your kids to school. You're not getting in the gym no more. You usually used to get it when you was in the NBA. You was getting in the gym. You was working out. You mm-hmm. was doing your routine. But now you're not doing that. You retired now. You gonna talk about me, Antoine Walker? You all them? How about they? Get yeah, and, and, shout, and matter of fact, shout out to Antoine Walker. The last time I seen Antoine Walker on TV, you can see he was starting to lose weight. But guess what he was doing? Because uh, again, I know a lot of dogs. Sometimes trolling works. You can get in some people comment section and say certain things, and people will eventually they might not respond to you, but they'll act. They will hear what you said. Antoine Walker started to lose weight towards the end of the season or whenever last time he was on ESPN I can Antoine Walker you can see it in his face he started to lose weight but I'm sure it's because people was probably smoking him in the comment section Mm -hmm. saying how he looked but again like I said some of those you can look at LeBron even though sometimes he spends endless time with his wife but you don't even see Steph Curry unless it's just like a gym video a lot of them dudes don't they you just I'm a husband I gotta tap in guess what you see them I think it's just you don't see them as much as a single person like Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant be all over the place. No, but I think I think it's all different. I think it's just different outlets that you see him on. Like I've seen Kevin working. I've seen Kevin playing. I think it's just yeah, different. Outlets. So, what, so, so, so Marcus will piss on what I'm saying though. You see Kevin Durant all, or you see him working out a lot. You see more videos of Kevin Durant playing basketball than you seen Steph Curry or LeBron this summer. No, you crazy. Huh? Both. I seen both. He, Steph Curry hosts his Under Armour camp. All the, you know what I'm saying? Like I've seen them both. Yeah, I feel like I seen more Kevin Durant. Ooh, I've, seen I've, seen Steph, I've seen Steph. No, they, I've seen yeah, I seen him working out with certain players. Like he did his little Under Armour stuff. But I'm talking, nigga, I see Kevin Durant every day coming down my timeline. And he played in that same little joint in L.A. that that um Kevin Durant played in. Steph played in it too. Well, I ain't see him. I seen no, Kevin Durant. Saying, I, I seen, seen when when I've Drake seen, went to that that open gym thing. That yeah, was Kevin Durant. I seen, was there. I, Steph was playing in it too. I, I've Steph. I said, I I think they they, they can't be freaking. Perfect, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you, you got to choose one or the other. Yes, like you said, I might be getting in late and I can't, you know, in the morning, I can't get up, you know, I get it. But like I said, at the end of the day, what's the difference between a working person and you? If you get in late, you still got to get up in the morning. Yeah, get your no, oh, oh, yeah, of course. But I and think but you said, like I said, if I'm making this money, yeah, I'm not right, getting this, up. So then it's, so you shouldn't say, well, I can't be part of And see, that's my only thing. I think with the Olympics, because they don't get paid for that. Yeah, and that's why it was all the players on there were still trying so to prove themselves and make I their think, name. I think that's more of a. I think that's more of a um, more of a reason why a lot of these professional, and that's why I say even with the track stars, I'm pretty sure whatever endorsements or whatever contracts y'all got, you have to you know participate in them things. But these NBA players, they don't get paid for. You, I mean, you do get some type of payment or whatever, but it ain't no your 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 normal contract. If they was paying them normal wise, then yeah, everybody in their mother would be signing up for it. But you're not gonna tell me I'm gonna miss two two months out of my summer. Yeah, and I'm not getting paid. No. Cause yeah, I'm not. I mean, of course not. No, I mean, I don't think nobody would. And we can kind of guess why we're talking about basketball. And you can kind of transition into, I uh, guess, a little bit of date and stuff. Uh, Amal Shepard, again, he was out. He was spotted out. I don't even know if these was old videos or old pictures, but it was video surfacing. First, it was a girl just like kind of wearing his chain and she was like laid up like somewhere crazy. Then it was a John of him in a, in a video. It was a video of him in a bathroom. It's a lot of loosey goosey like pictures of him popping up with a girl 
And them pictures, like the pictures and videos, they way too close for a married man to be that close. And the excuse that they try to come up with, the girl say, I'm his artist. Can yeah, all right. A, well, can I ask a question? That's, I think that's what's wrong with society now. We keep glorifying it. What you mean? Why would you, you, you as a female, why are you bragging about that you would have... A married man? Yeah. Uh, it's so funny that you say that. Homegirl of mine said the same thing. When she sent, she's in the video, she's saying the same thing. She's like, why do we glorify this? Why do women think that it's okay to uh, be the side chick? Why, why are you glorifying this? Why are you trying to publicize and promote I got this married man stepping out with me? Like, what is, what is that? What? Why do you make... What does that, I guess, what does that make it feel like this should be bragging rights? What are you actually bragging about? Cause you hoe, you fuck with somebody else, man. Like that, and that's my thing. I just feel like we keep making it acceptable. Like, oh, well, look at you know what I'm saying. Like, mm -hmm. well, why are you even posting this? If that's your case, if that's who he dealing with, that's what you doing. But you want to sit here and get some extra money. You want to post this. Then now if somebody pull up and do something to you because you messing with you know a Murray man. Like that's my thing. I just feel like we keep making it okay. Like, oh well, yeah, I post this picture. I was with such and such. Like that. Why is that okay? Yeah, I mean it's not okay, and and it's and I, I mean realistically, it's not okay. But again, I think it's just it's kind of the society to be honest that we live in right now. Like that is the thing. Like people, like people are okay with realistically, you're, you're okay with taking items and money over relationships. And it go back even to the reason why when even playing that clip with Jamal Bryan, we seen him saying why most men or even women who have old are not in their thirties. And I kind of even wanted to make this a topic: how many people actually? value people who show up for them uh emotionally like for people just think about how many people may just or may not checking up on you just randomly like hey how you doing boom boom i like, value that anytime but yeah, that, that may be you but i'm but so but my question is how many people don't value it but in, until you don't have it at all think about because of course like again and, and i say it and, and, and taking out the joking in it with the steve harvey stuff but realistically the older we get God forbid, or God, like we don't have these health scares or whatever the case may be, but sometimes it happens. So when you don't have nobody checking up on you and the older you get, you got to go through like blood tests or blood work or whatever the case may be by yourself. Only person you got to rely on is mommy or daddy. Nah, so it's going to hit a little bit different. Why you that more? So, but that's what my, that's my thing. So what we, we see here saying is so many people are geek to get the trips, get the bags, go to the nice restaurants. You don't even value regular morals and principles and humane stuff. You don't value having no real emotional connection with people no more. You care more about your, and you'll always see this. Oh, I don't care about my feelings. Just can I get my bills paid? Like when you say, but when you see, when you see posts like that and you keep hearing conversations like that, all that does do is now sit here. It's just like when we talk about with listening to music, the more I keep seeing bad behavior getting cherished and championed, it just make me, it make it seem like it's normal. Oh, well, since we talking about the value or even do you want to read that text message? The one you sent me about oh, the, oh, the $50. Oh, uh, oh, 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 yeah, this was nuts. And that's why I say I just feel like a lot of things nowadays is just like. All right. So I'm about to read this text. And I mean, this was on what was this on the neighborhood talk? Uh, my date had to reschedule. So oh, yeah, my date had to reschedule. So I asked him for a small inconvenience fee to reschedule. I love how he did it. Um, he didn't mind. Originally, I was going to charge him 50. Then I realized it was raining. So I factored in that. And the fact that I've that it could have been raining. And it's the little things like this that keeps you around. So now I'm about to read. That was her just lining up while she posted it. So I guess she posted this on like look like Twitter. So um, if we can, can we reschedule, please? Are you able to cash at me $50? Okay, request me. Okay, I requested it. I just sent it. I appreciate you. When can we reschedule? Um, but I really need $100, not 50. Uh, may I have an extra 50, please? And he just said, I just did it. So I guess his original loop comment, I skipped the part. So he originally texted this woman and said, hey, I'm sorry. Uh, been having a bad day. Somebody broke into my car last night trying to... Uh, Get to work. Yeah, trying to go to work this morning, and it, and then I saw it. So basically, this dude was on his way to work. Somebody broke into his car. He was supposed to go on a date that night. That would uh, let's be realistically for any man, that would make hey, you sick. Any fucking body, like what? That would make you sick. Oh. So so realistically, so this woman told the dude to cash out, and then that and again that goes to 
what I was just sitting here saying. It's not about this man was being honest with you. He showed you the picture. His joint was literally though his. It looked like they matter of fact they broke in his car and took his airbag. So he just did his car in. He didn't got to get a new car window. He got to get an airbag now. So realistically, it depends on what kind of insurance he is, what kind of car that his car that might shit. even be towed, though. Yeah, because once you take the airbag out, it's a dub. And most and most car when you have most car accidents, they total your car because of the airbag. Because it depends. Mm-hmm. Sometimes them airbags are so expensive. If that junk like come, what are you talking about? So she's still asking for money. So again, for him, he was weak. And that again, for listen to what I'm saying. I Block, understand. Ignore. I wouldn't even block it. I wouldn't you just reply. Fuck you. Have a nice day. It is what it yeah, is. Yeah, that's I'm crazy. Not about, bitch, I'm already about to sit here and spend. Man. I, yeah. So, but, the, right but so, so, but this is what I'm saying. Though, again, that goes to my point of where we sitting here saying, I might fuck around requested the hundred dollars from her ass. Bitch, man, what? But oh. listen to what I'm saying. Though, but that's my point of people not valuing that emotional connection no more. It don't matter to them. It's it's just about bread. What's the in, uh, inconvenience? Hold up. What's the you could no no, but you could have fixed this. You could have fixed this. I'm I'm sorry to hear about that. I'm on my way. I'm about to come here. You know, make your day better. If you was really interested in that person, that's what you're saying, value emotion. You know what I'm saying? Do I value? I seen that you had a rough day. You you got all right, I'm about to pull up on you. I, I, you know, just so, share you. No, so time up. So what so what you know, so time up, time up, time up, time up, time up. What you're asking for is asking for a unicorn. Oh, I, to know post I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. No, but that's, that's right. But you oh listen, hold on, time up, time up, no, no. No, I want you to re- I want you to say out you because you because I'm just I'm in front of you, so I'm hearing what you're trying to say, but I want you to say on mic what you would want somebody to do that's so you up. can know that it will never, never happen. Because that's I'm not going to say all females, but that's a fucked up mindset to have. If a nigga sit here and tell you, oh, damn, can we reschedule this date? I, you know, niggas broke into my shit. I love, but you didn't say, oh, all right, it's okay. I'm about to come over there, you know, like, and make him feel better. You could have sent him some titties or something, like, but you didn't sit here requesting fucking $100? Man. Ooh. Boy, you got to do better. So, but again, but you, but my only thing is, for even for men, that's a man right there who don't value himself. Yeah. For him to cave like that, though, he ain't even giving no pushback. He literally just said, okay, send me a request. So for you to cave, though, you li- though, li- you cave right. in like a sucker. So, but that's a man who don't, you don't value yourself. No, and it's a lot of men who don't value themselves. And don't get it twisted. And when women bump heads into dudes who value themselves and kind of don't budge on whatever they got going on, it, it, pay you. It, it, but listen to it, but it be they they frown upon it. They look at it like crazy, like, oh, you don't want to spend no money. No, I just value myself. I don't feel like you're no you more special than me. You ain't hit it yet. I hope he hit it. Nigga, it was the first date. <laughs> what? Yeah, y'all niggas crazy. But that's my you point. Give up hundred dollars, and even. Oh boy, well, we need some prayer. That, but that's my point, though. So, like like I said, it's a, it's a lot of men out here who that's don't. Crazy. Um, I'd be damned. Yeah, they just don't. They don't value themselves, dog. I'd um, be damned. I said he can't tap you. And my shit got fucking breaking. It. And, and I guess why we on these type of topics, and I and I and I honestly. I skipped it last week because it was just like I don't some of these topics I just don't like even talking about. But it's the young lady who um said somebody hit her with a brick. <laughs> I don't know if you got a, a sound bite for cap, but guess what she <laughs> she did? She basically sit here and went on the internet and lied and told y'all got y'all. And this is what I, and this is what's so crazy because when you hear stories like this and you watch and I'm just a person. I just let me go to the comments. I just want to see how people respond. And the first thing women was in the comment section saying, oh, look at black men. Y'all so weak. Y'all can't never take up for a woman. Bro, the whole story was a lie. She didn't even get hit with a brick. The doctor came out and said it was an allergy response. What made it worse? The no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, What make it, hold on, real quick. What make it worse is only one website post. Now, I post, listen, I literally, I told y'all, just two weeks ago, I started following all these blog pages just so some days I can just keep up yeah. fast enough. Only one of them picked it up, and that was Spiritual World. Everybody and their mother picked it up when it was a story to drag black men in the comment section. But when it came out... That's other video, the other angle. The other angle. I ain't even talking about, I'm just talking about literally this John was a, it looked like, what's this, is this Facebook? Uh, I think it was a, I think it was another. I, I don't know if a dude actually hit her though. Well, I already oh, you know that's you talking about that was yeah, those two those videos were separate. So you talking about another video where it was she was twerking in front of a white dude or something, he tried to touch her and he hit her hat. I think that was like her doing a prank or something. But real quick, I'm gonna just read this. Okay, update on the woman who completely scammed everyone who donated to her GoFundMe page and she made over forty thousand dollars. Here's the latest. The owner of the establishment looked at the footage and saw no evidence of a woman getting hit. She did not even file a police report. 
about getting hit with a brick. Uh, several people who work in the medical field have stated their injuries are consistent and with someone having an allergy reaction to something is truly was the intriguing thing. But this woman played social media. No, she looked like she ate a brick. From that picture, that's why I said that, that picture kind of looked. Because that's the one, it was like... Yeah, her, her face yeah, looked crazy. Yeah, no, her face like, looked crazy. Yeah, it definitely it looked, looked like, like it looked, she ate a brick. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> from that but again, that's why sometimes where it's just, even for me personally, when you go through certain content, certain topics, you like, I may got to skip this one. And that's why I just, because those ones where it's kind of like, because you see so many things can go left. And so, because again, like I'm a person, uh, but that's uh, what I'm saying though. If you follow, a, though, I can read, we can literally go every day. You can read down just arguments or conversations go the wrong way and somebody let the iron fly. So that's why when people keep, oh, they don't, but dog, if you, if I don't know, let's just say if this really happened, I don't know this woman from Adam and Eve. And let's just, and and you go out there and try to help her and then they can blow your brains out, dog. Then what? What's what's going what's gonna happen for me? What you gonna give? What you gonna give me? Nothing. Nothing. You gonna treat me? You gonna you know what you gonna do? You gonna treat me like they did on Tom on the on the last episode of Tommy when when they went and served the body and the, the police officer said, you know these people they don't care they ain't gonna tell nobody and the nigga said, who is these people? These people right here with their phones out recording this goddamn body and ain't nobody seen shit. Yeah, to pay a homeless man to just give him a little bit of information to say the CBI broke up. But you want, but this is what I'm saying. And I want every man listening to this. Of course, if it's somebody, a woman that you actually love, jump out the window, do your thing. But we just talking about for random people, random situations. Dog, I don't even like being, and I think, I don't know if we talked about this before. I don't even like being out and a woman just feel like she could just start talking crazy to somebody. Like a waitress or something. Like, dog, why? Because if I have to crash out for you, then what you going to do? You're not going to hold me down. You're not going to put nothing on my books. You ain't going to do Nathan. And a lot of dudes have to understand that. Even a lot of them, especially, and this be sad. I see a lot of younger dudes, and not even necessarily younger. Sometimes it's even dudes in their 30s. You get smoke, you balling, you look sweet on social media because you're trying to impress social media and you're trying to impress people. But then when you get turned into a pack, then what? Nobody don't care. You, you might get a cu- you may get a couple. It depends on how popular you are. You may get a couple reposts. Oh, recipes, you was a good dude at this and the third. But all that become because of flossing. So you have to eventually learn the value on though. It's not showing people what you got. I tell y'all famously, I'm going, I can go viral with a green background and a $10 Target t-shirt and a 10 and a, and a $8 a hat from Forever 21. I'd be happy though. I'd be like, oh, just a, though, you know how many people, one, spend a lot of money on cameras and whatever the case may be, spend money on outfits, chains. If I can get a couple hundred thousand people to watch me pop my talk with a $10 t-shirt and an $8 hat. Yeah, we Shaq and Penny, right? You keep on, dog. I see you, big ice. Big ish over there. I see you over there. No, I see you over there. I'm going to get on you. I see you over there doing your thing. Yeah, I see Big Mike out there. I see no, no, no. See, but I listen see. to But I don't listen to what you got to understand. I'm, and the crazy thing is, because I and, I and I didn't want to talk about this, but I even sometimes I debate in my head. I'd be like, I don't think y'all understand even when people request, it's, it's like a, a a lady trying to do a go-go documentary right now. And she was like, hey, you got somewhere where I can um just pull up and record? No, I'm not helping nobody do Nathaniel, though. Know? I have to, I, I, I'm never going to talk about what I had to sacrifice until we get over this hill. Dog, I'm not, no, I don't have that. I don't have that extra energy and all that stuff. And y'all, what you checking for? I ain't got it for y'all, dog. I'm not, I'm sorry. It's that you're going to run up. But can, I, can I ask why not? What you mean? Why not what? Why not do it? No, I'm not saying I wouldn't do it, but my whole thing of it is I'm not about to help you find if you if you even when people be dimming, oh, let me do a, a, a you want to do a podcast or yeah, you find the space, I'll come. I don't care about coming to somebody else stuff, but dog, me oh, have okay. to sit here. You thinking that you about to I'm you gonna use my equipment and do this and the third, and I gotta come up with topics and hell, I'm not doing that, dog. If I'm gonna do that, I'm just do it for me. I'm not about to sit here and let me I have to then you're gonna want now you're gonna be looking for me to say something outrageous and this then I, I don't know I'm not doing it dog I don't not it's not happening captain because eventually you have to pay me shout out to big dog yo see you my shout out to big dog and just and real quick and, and then because I didn't want to talk about this but we just can get it we can while we right here um I don't even when it comes to the go-go conversation and I think and I seen people and some of y'all are smart that's why you took the conversation to Twitter because y'all know I don't have a Twitter so that was cool that was the smartest thing for you to do. No, I don't, and I don't mean this in a disrespect. I only can be disrespectful by having this conversation. So I'm going to be disrespectful. I don't give a fuck about Gogo. Y'all niggas dumb. You should, like, I seen somebody literally sit here and say, 
I was trying to get relevant for mentioning a band. Nigga, if you actually watched it, it was clipped up. They hold on, hold on, time on, time on, time on, time on. They clipped it up. Nigga, the people who mentioned, the band I mentioned, they were all there recording. That's their camera. That's their YouTube page. That's their Instagram page. Are you stupid? And hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Time on, time on, time on. If you go to my page and you go to their page, bro, I got multiple videos with over three, 400,000 views on it. Y'all not even getting nowhere near close to that. The only person who can even get anywhere near that or pass me is Donnie P and Aunt Glizzy. Are you niggas retarded? Are y'all okay? Like, what you talking about? I guess sometimes you gotta be serious, bro. I don't wanna talk about Gogo. I don't give up. And listen, I ain't cussed on. I, I gotta, I don't give a fuck about Gogo. I don't play Gogo music. I don't talk about Gogo. You won't, you have to pay me to go to a Gogo. You've had to, for any of y'all to even see me in person, guess what you had to do 90% of the time? Pay to see me. The re I understood. You know what I learned? I understand why basketball players get upset with people who didn't play in the game. Because y'all giving y'all opinion, you wouldn't even have no Google music on Apple Music if I didn't sit next to Shooters and tell him and question him on microphone, why you ain't got your music on Apple Music? After, guess what? After he did, after he left, guess what he did? Took all this shit and put it on Apple Music. Same thing with reaction. How, are y'all niggas dumb? The reason why Gogo fell off, and this is not even to pat myself on the back. Y'all niggas didn't have no new. And this is and this is these is all stuff that stated and said on conversation with niggas and bands that I actually respect. They didn't have YouTube channels before I had one. Nobody was recording nothing. Yeah. Only person who was recording Gogo was Wings World. The hell are y'all stupid? And for your, for all them. your so, so listen, listen what I'm saying. So again, what, what even the conversation, the way, and the shout out to them, the way they little cut up and chop game, how they was editing, that's is elite. Shit. And, and that's what I'm no, they was on point. I, so I'm not mad at them. You suppose you did exactly what you're supposed to. You supposed to a, a get engagement. You are supposed to. I didn't care. I don't care. I can live with trust and believe. And this that's is my good engagement. It's not bad. No, uh, listen. Of course, but what I'm saying is, even with that, y'all have to still understand. It's the difference between actually playing the game and you as a fan giving your opinion. Most of y'all was giving your opinion as fans. People who actually played the game, there's not a nigga who ever played in a go-go band that wouldn't say, I would give majority of my band away to allow Crazy Weird Mikey to be my manager. Are you stupid? Like, y'all are dumb. And that's why go-go suck now, dog. That's why you ain't at, and that's why when I get on the mic and I ask y'all, what was the last hit that somebody had? Since I left Gogo, outside of backyards, hello, you can't even give me a real answer. So, again, that's why I don't want to talk about it. I don't care. Don't give a fuck. Y'all can go suck my dick. And that's and this will be the last time, because guess what? People, you know what's so funny? Shout out to P-Star. He's like, bro, I don't even know what Gogo is. I don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. But that'd be my point of, it's too many people from other places that engage with my content and follow me. I can't talk about that local shit, because you niggas Yo, left it as some kid. local shit. Y'all don't want to take no money and invest in this. That was the, I, that's the part I wish they would have kept in because that was the real, that was even how the conversation got started on why I stopped managing the band because niggas don't want to, don't want to, niggas want to get paid, but niggas don't understand the sacrifice on how to build the brand. And when more people, I was, I, I mean, I, I, me personally, I'm just saying that was back then, just now, like right now, yes, I'm pretty sure you would, business opportunity right now, you would spank or even you would, you because of what you you've seen and done now it's a lot more easier just going off of and that's why I say I, I get it and I understand when you even when you talk about how they're so slow in you know what I'm saying like marketing and branding themselves because oh, now I'm, 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 make, so perfect example and I can give you and shout out to Nucci I, I'm, and I'm gonna give it and I'm, if you got I don't even know if you got the round of applause but shout out to him this is my point of how slow y'all is ain't no real go go presence on social media guess what he did he did the the, the on no, the post jump with back y'all yes, shout out and now. So I think what, what was Ms. that? Kim uh, just did her joint. That joint just hit. No, yeah, Miss Kim did her joint, but I, I think um it was uh I think I want to say um Common shouted them out or something. But my whole point of it is, niggas who play in the band and even niggas who manage the band, you niggas are so slow and so dumb that somebody who don't play in the band see can see a open space where it's like, oh, this free money on social media because y'all don't use social media to no, your it, advantage. Because uh, yeah. I mean, that's what I say. I don't know about even in their rooms, the, the young, I mean, like I said, I know older wise. But even older no, wise, it's still, but it, it, it's no, a, I, say, I, feel, I feel, and no, and even with them, I feel like now they're kind of capitalizing on more so of the digital world. But, and yes, I even agree. Like I said, I have on my phone even an app where it's, you know, it's strictly go go. But mm -hmm. I'm just like, if y'all were just to put that type of music on, iTunes instead of having it on that app, you could see money fluctuating in it. But like I said, I get it. You don't know the ins and out of it. Or because like I said, a lot of bands now are starting to get hip to oh, I'm my PA tape on it. 
A lot of bands well, like I said, but it's it's it's, it's it should have been late. on there, dog. You should have been did it. Yeah, you're right. You're so right. why? So listen to what I'm saying again. This oh, will be. This right. is my last time ever having this conversation with y'all. I enjoyed the the, the back. Another and the reason and the, my only and another reason why I even said with the cussing thing. I was upset with me because when I'm watching I, other people post re, or I, and they do the jump, and I, I'm like, dang, why did I allow myself? I, of course, I did it because I don't want to be shady and not like do the um. You know when you do the uh. You invite on Instagram. You invite somebody to collaborate. And I kept cussing. So now guess what you do? Now you slow down my out Instagram algorithms. So since I've engaged it, I took that stuff and it all, because my regular videos, I don't cuss on my videos. So or if I, I do, it may, I bleep I it out. It might be the, but, but when you add them captions on there, I think that's what's more so on the, um, because they they actually, you know, they reading it. You know what I'm saying? They typing it out. You know what I'm saying? I think that's where you might mess yourself up because you're putting the captions on yeah, it. So, but, even, but, but still, even regardless, all I'm just saying is, saying is it messed up my algorithm. So my, the way Instagram is... Because Gilbert and all them, they cuss like, you know, everybody cuss like a sailor. I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't think that even... I think, it, but it depends on how you blur it. It just depends. All I'm just saying is, Gilbert, it's a different. Gilbert Arenas and them have a millions of followers already. I don't have millions of followers. So I be needing Instagram to put me in the algorithm. They was putting me, putting me in the algorithm for for a second, like I was running off like Steph Curry from the half court. But again, like I said, after I did that, that's what it was just like, oh my God. Even when I'm listening, I'm like, oh, I cussed every other word, like Jesus Christ. It was, I'm not gonna lie, that was blowing me. But again, like I said, I enjoyed it. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, I, shout out to CEO Mikey doing his runs. Uh, you know, yeah. like they got like five pods out. Yeah, I'm not gonna, but he wants to. No, nah. huh? Oh, you gotta keep doing your thing. Uh, I guess. Uh, shout out to Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah. Um, she sound good. Yeah, it was straight. It, it, I mean, it was cool for Queen Latifah. I'm not even gonna say it was straight. It was amazing for Queen Latifah because Queen Latifah no, is I, not I've a singer. Her, I know. No, yes, I've heard her done a, a couple of them, but I thought, that's why I said, was it good? Was it? Oh no, no, it was. It was good. But I'm just saying, she. When I think of Queen Latifah, I think, I think of a, a rapper. Yeah. I think of living single. I don't think of somebody yeah. going to be singing the uh, national little, anthem. She did a little Chicago. Uh, so for people who don't know what we're talking about, a uh, uh, course from uh, Sunday Night Football, Dallas versus the New York Giants, Queen Latifah um, sung the national anthem. And she did an amazing job at Star it. Star Spangled Banner. Oh, so whatever. Same shit. Some shit that black people don't know. Whatever. What? I don't know. I mean, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know the difference. I don't. I, it's the song before you, the flag come out, they sing whatever. I don't know which one it is. I don't care. Only time y'all would get some American stuff from me, shout out to Coco Golf. At 19 years old, winning the um, she is first, the, the youngest. No, Serena won it at 17, but since Serena Williams, she's the youngest. Grand Slam though, it was something. She was the first for something. I thought. Oh, she might have won it. I think. What, uh, I see. I don't know nothing about tennis, so I don't yeah, even. But I think. I think, a, I think, I think the Grand the Slam is the way she won. Yeah, that's what I think. I think that's what it was. But, was so, I, what I want to say, Serena Williams won the U.S. Open at 17. And I could be wrong. I heard that. I'm and I'm regurgitating something that I heard earlier today. So I that's all I, I don't know because I don't watch tennis. I ain't about to come on here. I like I watch tennis, but I do. Uh, but again, that's me. Just even my moral compass. I'm like, oh, she just won this, and this is a major deal. There's no way I could have literally done two posts about sexy red, and I don't uh, post about this girl. That would be crazy. I didn't see a lot of people posting her. But I, I mean, but uh, but again, I think, but that's but if you you have to realistically, you have as people, we have to call each other out if you don't. Man, I mean, I. You, but it. because it's but it but I'm saying you have because guess what the, the same way when we talk about music and parenting though you have to realistically check you have to change what's cool or you have to add extra stuff in so people can see what's cool and what's not cool because if you if all we're doing is uh so okay so do you think my man who uh what's his name um the one he got the most now well he's tied for the most do you think what he did was that was what's the dude the dude that had the Kobe Bryant shirt on yeah because it's 24th uh what's the name that he won US Open He's tied him and the other. Uh, I mean, but, he, but, but, but so that's what I'm saying. Is is that a flex? For what? For him? Yeah. I mean, yeah, for him. But if that's if you like tennis, I'm not. We're not talking no, about Coco Golf because I tennis. I, I I get, but but I'm just saying, like we do also. Like I said, everybody. I feel like that. I think that's just what today's society. We don't look at tennis. We don't support it. So even regard, like I said, he wasn't a white. He's not a white guy. I'm saying, I just think we just don't support the sport. We don't look at the sport, just like with the WNBA. And even like, I think after um, we bigged up, um, which I'm gonna call it, um, Sh uh, Shakari uh, Richardson. Mm -hmm. I think it was a black young lady that won the. Um, she was like the first black young lady to won. I like the the uh, whatever the uh, joint you put on the neck, the ball, the little throwing joint. 
Yeah, she was know. the first that you know what I'm saying. Like we said, we just I think just us because we don't look at those sports, we don't care nothing about it. Like she was the I think she was the first black uh female to ever win it in that, you know what I'm saying? But we don't we don't look at it. Yeah, I mean, I think that's because sometimes with some of those sports, because they are like even the way the people, the black people who do present it, is like they be so clean cut. Did it, it again? We was time when we talking about the ice spice and we talking about the sexy red. It's hard for us to see ourselves in some of those people. It's not necessarily know that we don't we won't like those sports because you never like when you see stuff that you can relate. Like even with boxing, though, that's why Javante may not be the best boxer. He may not be a better boxer than. Crawford or Spence or none of them, but guess what? He is he's more relatable, he's more marketable. When black people see Javante, they be like, Oh, that he from the hood, he's just like one of us. When you see some of these other people, you don't see that. So that's why it's not relatable, though. It, I don't, that's why when people always like to throw around that word, um, uh, representation matters. No, it matters in sports too. And that's why some of those, but but even that's why shout outs to her, even Coco Golf, when even when she rapping to Nicki Minaj on people, are like, oh, that's tight. Did she know a Nicki song? But I think it just even with sports, just in general, when you say this, the look, it don't relate to us. I think that's the problem. I feel like we we putting ourselves down or we just not like because you say like when you I learned how, me personally, like I said, when I first learned how to tie my tie because of sports, mm -hmm. we had to wear we had to wear a suit and tie mm -hmm. for our way games. Mm -hmm. That's how I had to learn how to first wear, put on the tie. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, like I said, because of the generation. A lot, I don't think they do it anymore. You know what I'm saying? Certain teams don't do it. So it's just like when you ask, oh, do you know how to tie a tie? No, I don't know how to tie a tie. Mm -hmm. Like, shit, how do you? You don't know how to tie a tie. No, I don't. That's what I'm saying. So, I, I, and that's when you say, well, it's, it's a look or they clean, they more clean cut. But I'm just like, is that our fault that they're more clean cut or they present themselves better? <laughs> yeah, no, it's not, I'm not, it's not, it's not their fault, but do, but it'll slow down. It, we just talking about we're, we're marketing. It's just like, no, even just perfect example when we can tie it into just quarterbacking. Oh, that's why when you, if you listen to how, just listen to the way people talk about Justin Herbert compared to the way they talk about Lamar Jackson. You'll hear white analysts take up for Justin Herbert. Why? Because he looks like one of them. We don't have, we, and, and white people, they can be honest and I can listen to when they talk. We don't got but so many white quarterbacks left in the NFL. Like, shit, I was like, it was so funny because me and uh, our cousin, Lord Jeff, was laughing. I'm like, I'm only going to bet on the black quarterbacks. Well, he nigga said, well, you damn near going to bet on everybody because most of the teams got black quarterbacks now. So that's, again, that goes back to, it's still, but even still for certain people, when we have certain conversations, we can still joke, especially as black people. We know the difference between Patrick Mahomes black and Lamar Jackson black. It's a different, it don't, it don't matter. It don't matter. I'm not sitting here saying one is right from the other because it's so, I'm sure some people who can relate more to Patrick Mahomes. But Lamar Jackson might be just more of my cup of tea. I don't care who's the better quarterback. I'm going for the nigga who kind of, I just, I feel like, hey, I wouldn't mind going to the club with Lamar Jackson. I wouldn't want to go to wherever. I wouldn't want Patrick Mahomes to grab the ox. And that's just sometimes, even when we think about tennis, we think about the first thing you don't think, if we, if we sit here and think, name a TV character when you think of tennis. A TV character? Yeah, just a random character that you've seen on a TV show that you think would play tennis. Goofy, a, a regular real people. I don't know. Carlton Banks for for I'm sure most people y'all was there. Carlton. Carlton looks like he played tennis. He's played tennis on oh, Fresh you Prince. Saying who looks like they play tennis? Yeah. And but so that's my and I think that's why a lot of people kind of be on the fence with the tennis thing because it just looks like a uppity rich black people. Everybody ain't rich and everybody ain't uppity. And that goes back again, like I said, tying that into the ice spice conversation. Let that jump load up. Let me pass. Girl, I know you tired of the same song. Need to speak your mind, you need to say some. I be on the grind from like eight on the eight song. She gon' call my phone, make sure I ate some. So you get success, you know the hate come. I ain't trippin', deal with niggas when the day come. I'ma throw this money, she gon' shake some, shake some. I only for what uppers, girl, that take some. Somebody broke her heart and now she acting like I did it. 
You come with the liquor, then I'm coming with the bitches. I use the nick and diamond, now I'm smoking out the ditty. Yes, a short amount of time, I'm in your city. We gotta make it worth it. Just gotta put the work in, we ain't gotta make it perfect. We was on our fifth shot, next thing you know, we surfing. That pussy was alive, and next thing you know, it's curtain. Make sure that ain't the people, man. Somebody check the curtain. I really like your titties and your hips, how they be curving. I can tell that he ain't really got it, how he perking. Don't believe the shit you hear, cause you gon' get a different version. Girl, I know you tired of the same song. The same song. Need to speak your mind, you need to say something. I be on the grind from like a song to a song. She gon' call my phone, make sure I ate some. So you get success. Real quick, I guess while we still on, um, while we on sports, let's get into, I guess, into some football takes real quick. And again, I guess, let's get into uh, just even just the, the the ups and downs with betting on sports. And you know how many people actually really bet on sports because you watch how the cheers don't go crazy. Like, for, perfect example, first week that Colorado won, man, everybody was happy. It was like, oh, yeah, we won. We won the Super Bowl. Da, 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 da. You see everybody super excited because realistically, a lot of people won a lot of money betting on Colorado that first week because they was the underdogs, 21-point underdogs. That was sweet money. That second week, because and, and it's just how we just are as people, you you get you see all the, the like they had so many parlays like oh well such and such because realistically the first game he threw, should he threw a touchdown? I think he had four wide receivers in a hundred yards. I think then everybody almost caught it. Well, um, yeah, it broke the record. Yeah, so all of them. So you looking at it where it was not, of course this you wasn't chasing those numbers, but it was like okay he threw five hundred the first game he should at least get to like in the high twos the next game. Or well, this person should get at least a touch. Like you're thinking that um, what's the Travis Hunter? You thinking he gonna ball out again? And then those don't get it twisted. They still won, but of course you know after you start winning, you they go in as the favorite, so they ain't done the dogs no more. So that little just sweet money line bet ain't there. Now you need them to kind of because realistically, and, and this is something that I'm learning, the parlays is where the money at for real. But realistically, the holes are harder to hit because you got a clean sweep. Yeah, you got to clean. It's not no, oh, you get, you get, if you bet, in, if you got six parlays and you get five and you don't get that one, it's over, buddy. It ain't, it ain't, it's no hanging in there for you. So that's where you will get, that's where it gets you gas or you expect, it's, but don't get it twisted. I understand how people get addicted to it because it's just almost like playing a video game. You just playing with your real money. It ain't, you not, you ain't playing, you ain't. You ain't, you're not, you're not playing. But I mean, if you take like the, I feel like if you take fantasy football serious and all that, I feel like those two things go hand in hand. No. Why not? Because you're betting every night. Fantasy football, like, you're going to pay, okay, the pool, the pool, you know, the entry mm -hmm. fee. That's it. You're not going to keep bet. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, they have, do have fantasy football where you can bet each game, you know what I'm saying, each each day, those two. But I, when you're saying fantasy football like a league, no, nah, you're not doing the same. No, thing. but what I'm talking about is just picking, I'm talking about when you're picking your roster, you're picking your players, it's the same thing. You're picking on who you think going to have a good game. No, for the whole season. It's not just the game. But listen, I hear, no, I hear what you're saying, but what I'm saying is it gets so addictive, Marcus. You ain't betting just on one game. Now you're going to be hooked. No, no, you get yeah, You're betting on, yeah. And especially if you, you really like it, a, if you, you really you like a player. You're paying attention to more than one than one team. For sure. Pick, yeah. So, that's so, but that's even, but that's the, I think that's to me is what's the good thing about, uh, that's the good thing about even with sports betting is like, perfect I'm like, some of these games I wouldn't watch or even care about. No, no, ain't that right? That, and, I, and I get that. That's what I'm saying. Because with fantasy, with fantasy football, you pay attention more to the players mm -hmm. and other teams because you like, oh, I need such and such. Like I said, I'm not mad. We got our ass kicked. But Christian McCarthy is on my team and I'm a fucking balled out. I'm not mad at that. See, and, but so you know what's so, I'm but, not mad at that. But that it is, it is what it is. I take that, you know what I'm saying? I take that L. But again, that to me, that's where it gets tricky because that's the same thing. With, so what you just said is how I felt the opposite way about the teams that I normally come on here and talk about is the Ravens, the Eagles, uh, the Dolphins, whatever the case may be. Because I bet so crazy with the Ravens and the Eagles. Nick, that was wins. I don't care about them wins. Nigga, you just lost me bread. My nigga. That's why you need to come to reality. I get I get what you're saying. Support black people, all that shit. But you gotta come to reality when it comes to like I said. No, when you play with your money, you will. That, you it'll humble, humble you. It'll like, humble you. It'll humble you for that sure. Shit, you, even what you did in the fantasy draft, like you took all them Baltimore players, like, nigga, what are you? It's kind of nuts. You didn't forget you get a buy, you got a bye week. When they out, they ain't got you ain't got you gotta find somebody else to play. I still got other players though. All right. 
I want. Did I get ter- Did I get two? Hey, nigga, you. Nigga, the rest of your team, you had all Baltimore. You might as well draft the whole damn Baltimore team. I thought I got two of them. Well, I, got, I even got two of Justin Fields. It don't matter. Even one of them, it don't make a difference. Um, But just, re- I guess, to wrap it up, but just the last, I mean, because, of course, we're recording on Monday, and the blow for most people, if you are, if you lost money on Sunday, you was trying to win back some money today. And that's how it go. But I'm a person, like I told Jake. They say it might be Achilles. Huh? They say it might be Achilles. I don't care as long as they can. My my only bet five. I only had a five dollar parlay on whatever. So cool. If I lose that, as long as they win the game, it's just one. It's a one point game right now. It's four minutes left. Oh, if uh, you you did bet, you bet on the Jets. Yeah, I bet on the Jets. Okay. Oh, my bad. It's thirteen thirteen. Yeah. So. Yeah, niggas gonna be sick. So if the Jets still pull it off, I'm good. I'm good money. But that's my hope. But you can't. You you know what? That and I think that's I think that's more of a crazy thing. It's just like. Nigga, Zach Wilson is still plays for them. Like that's the like if I'm that if I'm him, like I really feel this. I mean, of you course, can't Aaron Rodgers, you can't feel this. No, 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 no. Because like that, that's my thing. You ain't had that. We we did good last year, but they kept making it like if we didn't have Zach Wilson and we had Aaron Rodgers, we would have went to the Super Bowl. And that's how they felt, or at least would have made the playoffs. No, I I hear that part, but now all you mother like you going you 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 better be like Dion. If you win tonight, you better be like Dion in the press conference. Oh, if I'm Zach Wilson? Oh, yeah. nigga, I'm going crazy. Yeah. You better be like Dion in the press conference. No, I'm no, and no, nigga, I don't want to go crazy, nigga. Sauce Garden, you better come in here and go crazy for me because I'm a white boy. Nah, I've got that much swag. That. Sauce can't do that. She, why not? Because Sauce is Sauce on the defense. And you don't, so, de, the Jazz defense has been. It's legit, legit for sure. And, and so, that's probably realistically why the game got is. got injured last year, and that's where they started taking the tumble. Zach, you got to stand on your own. You got to stand on your own two feet. You can't expect nobody else to speak up for you. You got to stand on your own because you the quarterback. Yeah, the score is 13-13 right now. They're in the fourth quarter. It's four minutes and 51 seconds. So, I mean, of course, by the time this out, we'll know who win. But hopefully the, the Jets can pull it. I need oh, they're the in the Jets. fourth quarter right now? Yeah. And mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I, I, I need the Jets to pull this off. But, again, like that's it. That, to me, is just – that's the I guess that's the cool thing, the gift and the curse about – Sports betting is like you kind of got to use your common, but sometimes even like I said, your common to me, common sense went out the window this Sunday. They just passed for you. I think for anybody, dog. I know a lot of niggas who took some L's yesterday. Don't think about them. You, you said no, for I me, get, no, yo, you, no, 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 you said for me, people. perfect, but just perfect example. Just per, like just for me, nigga. I picked the Browns to win, and you was like, nigga, the Browns are you stupid? <laughs> no, no, no. I we said I know I we t- we said the Browns could beat it because we didn't know Joe Burrow was playing, and he played and played like doo doo. He had 82 yards. Yeah, that's he took 30 he attempts. Played. I didn't know he played. The only other quarterbacks that ever played that bad was the other quarterback for the Bengals. It was the Bengals quarterback when Chad Ochocinco was there. Uh, Andy Dalton. Yeah, Andy Dalton. And it was some miscellaneous quarterback that used to be the quarterback for the Jets that ever thrown for 30 jumps and didn't get 100 yards. So that's my point. You sitting here saying, yeah, oh, me. This is in the red zone. Okay. Oh, they just got the ball back? How did it just happen? Yeah, they're in the red zone. And it's third and one? Mm-hmm. Oh, sweet. Come on, Jess. Pour this. Oh, they pour this off. I need you to get me out the hole, baby. Four minutes left. Yeah. Yeah, but so, but my whole point is, so just imagine if I was a betting man, and, and, and this is one, and this is, again, sometimes where I tell y'all, you got to watch the games. You can't just listen to the analysts. Because, listen, Skip Bayless was going crazy, sitting there saying Joe Burrow all week, Joe Burrow better than Patrick Mahomes. Him and Keyshawn and Michael Irvin was arguing about that all week last week, and especially after the, the Chiefs lost to the Detroit. Perfect example again, nigga. I picked Detroit, so I'm not. It's not me pick. It's not me pit playing with my heart. It's just me. Realistically, I listen enough, and then you also got to watch the games because you got to know what you listen to. I know, especially if I'm listening to a lot of, and it's never to kind of make it a race thing, but sometimes it is. If I listen to a bunch of white men talk, they're going to talk highly about but, Justin but, Herbert. They're going to talk highly on Joe Burrow. No, and that's why I say with even with you, I feel like. I get it that yes, we support black, do all this, you know, black what's the name situation. I was pissed off just yes, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even hear that fucking with with Green Bay and I wouldn't I took Chicago just like all right, well Justin Fields mm-hmm. and then it's you know it's love. Justin Love balled out yesterday. But Chicago's never won a game. Week one, no matter who the quarterback is, Green Bay has always won. And yeah. when I seen it, I was pissed. It was like, damn. Yeah, that but right I'm, I'm sure, but, but realistically, but, but most people think of it was looking at it like, okay, one, they've been trashing Justin Love, I mean, Jordan Love, making it like he was boo-boo the whole time. So if you're thinking, okay, well, Aaron Rodgers, yeah, they, you got to think about it, they've been lost for how many years, but you got to think about it, their quarterbacks for how many years was Aaron Rodgers no, and Brett Favre. No, no, yeah, I no, I, that, that part, yes, you, you, I, I get that part. But shit, one year, fucking, what's name went to the Super Bowl? So it's not like, like I said, they've been a slouch 
all that time. They have decent teams, but 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 like I said, when you look when you look at the papers, it's just like all right, Justin Fields been playing how many years now? And do you go into a quarterback who hasn't started a real game for real? He played him to win. Yeah, I mean, it, it was cool. Like I said, I, it, it was it was week one. A lot of the weather was bad. I almost had you Redskins fans. Oh my god, Arizona! What the fuck happened? Oh, he that quarterback was just boo boo for real. But you know what's so crazy? Oh, Again, I, like I said, when when we was like, it was six, it was sixteen to ten, right? When I went up, no, nah, I want to say it was. It was, it was like four. 10. No, it was fourteen. It was fourteen to six, I think. No, no, it was sixteen ten. When I when we, oh, oh yeah, 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 sixteen, 10, 10, 10, 10, 16, 10, 16, 10, yeah, 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 you are, you are. That's yeah, but their, their quarterback was just trash, and that was a crazy. But again, that I made this crazy thing is I didn't know, and this and that again, if you gonna be betting, you actually need to pay attention. I didn't like know that week? Kyler Murray was huh. He was like Russ this week. Who, they, who play? They play the they play the Redskins. The bar, the Broncos and the Redskins. Yeah, yeah I might take the Broncos. He's like Russ. Yeah, I might take the Broncos. I got, I had I had to see who they um. Yes, they did. They got the first down. And it's a two minute. Come on, New York football, just J T E S. Uh, 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 uh. All right, come on. I know the women tired of here to talk about sports. Um, but yeah, shout out to everybody. Hold your head up. Don't just be careful. That's all I'm gonna say. Don't you? I want. Oh, that was my point before we got kind of sidetracked. I told J Bo, I was like, though, even when it come to betting, I I initially put a hundred dollars in. I'm not going. I'm not putting nothing else in. I have to make that hundred dollars work. I don't get it twisted. I won. I I have won a cut, but them just random bets and getting saucy. You get to start losing. You're like, damn, how the fuck I get that low again? Like the Dolphins literally saved me yesterday, though. I was a I'm no, and, be I, done. And, and that's what I say. The only thing is just is just about the betting and just with injuries and anything. Because I even remember last year when the whole Cincinnati and Buffalo game that was doing the championships and playoffs. Oh yeah, in fantasy, and that that with them not playing the game, people didn't get that game. Oh, like I said, my, I even, even, you know, even but so, that, our, so that's what no, so, in, in, in our fantasy league, my, my my the one I have in my job, that what it was. One of my co- he had the wide receivers for Cincinnati, but because they didn't play that game, mm. and we was waiting on whether the game get played later, he ended up losing his money for the championship. Yeah, that would make me sick. For the championship, that would make me sick. I wouldn't if I had bread up for that. No, he had Chase and he had the other um. I don't think he had. He gave that chase. What's the other receiver? I think his last name started with a W. I can't remember what's on my head. I know you're talking about, though. No, the one they got from the Colts. That's the one. That was the other one he had. He had both of the top. He had both of the receivers there. I thought his last name was a W. I thought. I want to say. I can't remember. But yeah. he, but anyway, um, in the other news, we switched the gears up some. Uh, T. T.I. Hatani's son uh, catching backlash because he paid a homeless man $50 to do the one chip challenge. And so, so far, I think the death toll to this one chip challenge, I want to say it was 140 people. Huh? One. That's all I knew about. Nah, they took it off the shelf. Like, people been down over there. You tripping. Oh, that was the only point I heard about. I think that one was recent, but I thought thought they said over. That's why they took them off the shelves. Well, let's just say, let's I've just say, it, okay, I've let's just say. Chip, no, no, I've done the chip challenge. Oh, you you tasted that chip? Hell yeah, I tasted them chips for. They so, got different ones. So I, I think they, they keep, uh, you know, add different flavors. I guess they go up, you know. Now, this one now, I, I don't, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a big difference from probably when I did it. But yeah, I did, I did the one, I won the one chip challenge. So I don't it, think it's a chip that hot for real? My nigga. I mean, <laughs> content wise, we could do it. I'm not trying nothing. The niggas is dying over. Nigga, not going to die over the shit, nigga. You can just take a, t- a piece off of it. For content wise, we can do it. You do it for content wise. No, oh, big dog, no, I'm big scared. dog. You in that gym, nigga? You ain't about to tell me no chip about to see here. You do. You can do 200 push ups, nigga. Ain't no chip about to see you. That's crazy. Well, they, he called backlash. People was giving him hell for that. No, because you gave a nigga fifty dollars. Come on, nigga, I wouldn't eat that chip for another hand fifty dollars. But you want me to eat it for content for free? What make that make that sense? Nigga, so you, you think you won't eat it for the content, nigga? But I, but look, but you I, paid a home. No, you, because you have money and you gave a nigga fifty dollars to do it, a homeless person who don't have nothing and you putting them on the internet. I feel like that's fucked up. If one I'm, of your I'm friends, with, yeah, if one, is your, one of your friends was doing it, cool, that's fine. But for you to sit here and pick a homeless person, you don't know, even know his health condition, nigga. I'm pretty sure you're more healthier than. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. That's what I'm saying. Like no, okay, no, nah, hell no. I get it. I, I, I'm with you on that one. Yeah, I'm with, no, I'm, I'm no, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, just for you, just so for laughing giggles. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't say you said no. I wouldn't sit here and say eat the whole chip. He probably had him eat the whole chip. Like that's fucking that's cruel. 
You eat that whole chicken. Dog, you can just eat a piece of I'm telling you, just eat a corner of that chicken. I'm gonna fucking have your ass. You okay, you remember when back in the day when we used you, to do you that, had, uh, the hot sauce? Shit. Uh, it's hotter than that. Hey, my nigga. I can tell you one thing. I can't even remember you, the name of that sauce, but I remember back in the have day. Have you ever it, ate ghost peppers? Mm-mm. See, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. Them chips ain't no joke. And it's only one chip. You can eat a corner of it, piece of it. It got to be some serious stuff or that, that, come on. Uh, Bang kick a field goal? I mean, it's four for six, so I, hopefully they bought a kick a field goal. It's a minute and 51. She don't want to get that ball back to Josh Allen with a, just a field goal. I know they don't. It's four for six, though, so. And they were there on the 12. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, all right. Um, yeah, I don't know. With the chip thing, I, I necessarily, I, I don't know. Um, they took it off. I seen it. They said they took it off of all shells, so it's not there. Yeah, everybody ain't taking that shit off. I can do that now. Yeah, I'm sure some stores or some people, they probably still realistically even sell it online. But T.I. never got to do something with that little nigga because he just be just... I'm just man, like, dog. All you gave him was fifty dollars. Like, that's crazy. Oh, well, I guess let's get into this. Light skin Keisha. Uh, shout out one. Shout out to light skin Keisha. I don't even say shout outs because we y'all know I love light skin Keisha. But like, Keisha is pregnant with her fiance's baby, and after they announced her pregnancy, his baby mother went crazy on him. And, and I guess they got like a a, a, a middle aged kid. I don't. Know, I mean, I'm sure because I think they say like preteen, so the kid might be like 10, 11, 12, something like that around that range. Um. And she was basically like, and this is and this is one of the things where I don't why I be so against a lot of the stuff people do on social media, especially when you get and you're trying to talk that uplifting shit. Even for them to have a, I told you their podcast suck anyway. Their, their chemistry on microphone is horrible. Like for two people that supposed to really love each other and supposed to be getting ready to marry, their on mic chemistry is ridiculously horrible. I'd have had way better chemistry with random women from a different state. These niggas is like, that chemistry is horrible, dog. Like, you go watch their show, try to watch 10 minutes, you might, y'all about to get married? But anyway, so long story short, she showed, she showed her pregnancy. His baby mother called him out. Like, nigga, you haven't took care of your daughter or haven't done nothing for your daughter in the last six months. So then Lysa and Keisha basically were responding like, you always got a problem when it's something like, and if it's the engagement, it was something, then it's this and something. But my only thing to him was, nigga, nobody, everybody in the comments was saying, I didn't even know you had a kid. You shouldn't. What do it matter? No, 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 time on time on time. I'll tell you why it matter. Because you can't sit here and have a relationship podcast and be hiding a kid. It don't work like that, No, 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 no. You can't, no, you can't say that. Because at, at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure the mother had some say so, right? That's what she, but I'm just saying her words. She the one who said it. She said, Nigga, she how do you have you. a relationship? How do you have a podcast giving people relationship advice? But, but, but no, and you hold hide on, your hold daughter. But you saying, but you saying for the last six months, what was he doing prior to that? I don't know. Cause if I, you say, no, that, that's my thing. If, if, if the daughter is whatever you say, 10 years old or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. Now, if you would have told me for the last six years, mm -hmm. then all right, then we can talk about mm -hmm. it. But if you tell me for the last six months, okay, maybe I've been on the road. Maybe I've been such and such, you know, but the check's still coming in. You can't sit here and fault me for doing what I'm, I'm, I'm doing. Well, she accused him of not doing nothing. Like, basically, he, he fell back because of whatever, whatever she wasn't going for, her not accommodating his... So right, so okay, so do you didn't accommodate? So say my work schedule is I'm only I'm only free for such and such day, mm -hmm. but you not accommodate me for that. You know I'm doing this tour or I'm doing this whatever. I'm set for these certain days, so I'm free Tuesday. But you that's your day. But you're not going to accommodate me. That you know what I'm saying? Like that's that falls on you but because my, you don't want to give up that one day. Like okay, this day going to work for me. So now you send and say, but no, I'm not doing it. You know your days. That's what you're going to get. You can't fault him for that. I, I, I guess my, but my question would be is realistically, how do you, my only thing I guess with him is you can't be giving other people advice and you hiding your kid though. You can't, no, that's what I'm saying. No, we, we don't, we, we not, it's not about parenting, it's about relationships. I, my kid don't have to be on there. Why no, 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 your kid don't even have to be on there. You have to acknowledge you have a kid. Why though? Oh, we because, don't, no, 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 listen, if, if me and the mother was married, Oh, we was in a long term. How you know we just didn't have a kid, and I'm dealing with her. I'm I'm working. You know what I'm saying? We're not. We co-parents, and we doing whatever we doing. I, why do I have to bring that up? Uh, listen to what I'm saying. You wouldn't have to bring if you if you were just a rapper. Let's just say if you was a regular rapper. Cool, you wouldn't have to bring it up. But um, one thing about podcasting, so you can separate yourself from everybody else. You have to be able to give out 
your personal life to an extent where people can find like I can relate to you. Perfect example. That's why we we, we acknowledge when we talk about parenting. I always acknowledge how good of a father that I feel like you are from stuff that I see that you do. And when I can sit here and be like, oh, that's why I don't have kids because I see the sacrifices that you make. I know I can't do it. So and even when we go out and talk about it, I'm, it's endless dudes who listen to the show are fathers. They take care of their kids so they can relate to you on those on those topics and certain things that you have to do and show up as a father for that search way, even playing games. There's certain things where you don't, you might not be paying attention or understand why I'd be doing it or why I bring up certain conversations, but I know it's people who listening who can relate to that. So if you have no relatability to yourself yes. as a podcaster, but it's ass and it's pointless. But my, but you can't, but for six months, you sent me for the last six months, not even for a year. It's not long term. You tell me for the last six months, we could have reached a bad patch. I can tell you, I wasn't perfect all, you know, my kid, you know what I'm saying? It was a bad patch mm -hmm. where we had miscommunication, where we wasn't seeing eye to eye. Of course. But, so but you, it's a but difference between, but it's a, I get what you're saying. It's a difference between as two parents that we weren't not celebrities or we weren't portraying ourselves a certain way on social media. Cool. You can have your bad patches and just be a regular dude going to work. But when you come on social media and you're trying to portray yourself a certain way, it ain't no room for the bad patch. That's what her point was. Stop trying to make yourself seem certain a certain way on social media and you're not being a dad in real life. That was her beef. That was that was what she was saying verbatim. I'm not sitting here adding extra sauce on it and giving my opinion. That's what she was saying. So it's no way you can sit here and say. It's cool. We can have a bad patch. You can be a horrible dad, but don't come on social media and act like you got life put together and you're presenting as this oh amazing family. We the Cocos and this, that, and the third. And you ain't even taking care of your kids. And most people in this comment section don't even know you got a kid. You agree to that. You agree to that lifestyle. Yeah, probably before the before you was over. Became, I became out before I became popular. You agreed to this? Um, yeah, I probably agreed to it before you had a, a girlfriend and you are keep, now you were showing off your girlfriend. But don't get so this it, Some so of it could see, be hate. Let's be, no, let's be honest. No, no, it some is, of it, it can it, be it, hate. It, 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 so, what, he's a rapper or... What, what? Uh, I don't know what he is. You know, he has a rap song, but is he a rapper? No. Like, if, if, if more people probably, most people who, the no, blogs he that he get, pop, people, the blogs he get picked up on, 90% of the people know him for being like, like and Keisha uh, boyfriend or fiance. Don't know a song from him. I, I, I feel like that's hate. Like I say, because you know, no, no, because you, like I said, you bringing up, I haven't done nothing in six months. First than twenty, come on, Buffalo. But you ain't talking about, you know, what I'm saying what I've done, you know, beforehand. Oh, no, baby. So yeah, I, I feel like that, that. That's hate because I posted. If I didn't post that, we was, you know, having a baby, or you know, what I'm saying you wouldn't say nothing. Yeah, of course, you wouldn't. And, but her her last comment was, of course, Debbie dads always end up having other kids. That was a ball. That's not a ball. She had to shoot the clip. No, yes, it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold on, Marcus. This, see, I, ladies, listen, can y'all please, please stop, especially women that I personally know. When Marcus say shit like this, don't text me, don't DM me. DM him and tell him he's dead fucking wrong. Because I know women who listen personally right now who feel like their baby fathers are fucking deadbeats. And guess what this nigga go do? Still have more kids. And that shit pisses so, women off. No, 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 no. But okay, I, I get what you're saying. No, no, no. When you say that, right? The the women choose. If, you, if, if I'm a deadbeat, right? Mm -hmm. And I sit here and go lay up with another woman and have another child, mm -hmm. right? You chose to have that child. My choice. No, no. I'm. 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 This, this, this is me speaking off what's name. What you? What no, you no, 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 no. This. Okay. I'm. I'm just uh, uh, only on me on my experience. Mm -hmm. I would not go out here and have another child mm -hmm. because I've I've dealt I've dealt with the whole situation. I know how it is having kids and with the responsibility. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go out and have another child with another woman. Yeah, but that. That's but what, been, because ahead. because of what I've been through. Mm -hmm. So when you say that, you saying like, okay, well, a deadbeat, but but in in somebody's eyes, I might be a deadbeat to somebody else. So that's what I'm saying. So when you when you say that, you, you it's just like, what is what do you consider deadbeat? Because if you just saying, like I said, just going in this situation, if you saying for the last six months, but if he was doing right, everything, you know, saying the rest of the years, it was just the last six months, he ain't been doing right. He's not a deadbeat. How did he get a deadbeat? Because now you hit a rough patch and things not going right. I know. I know. I, I let's let, let's. I, I, I get what you're saying, and, you, and you're absolutely right. You can be if if I was if I've been showing up and only haven't been showing up. However, you feel like I should have shown up for the last six months. Cool. I'm with you on that one. But what I'm still saying is, which also is still a thing. There are hard men out here who women call deadbeats, and those men end up having other kids. Of course. 
and, and, and but, hold, so, so, hold, so, hold, listen though, but and that man still hasn't shown up properly for the first kid. And that's okay, what so, 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 so if I feel like you're not showing up properly for the first kid, yes, that will make me a little bit bitter okay. and will end up making me lash out. Because guess what? You are sitting here betraying to the world like life is perfect. You're absolutely right. I'm not disagreeing with you with that. But just run off that. Have you not showed up for one female that you dated better than you did the female? For sure. But some people bring out the better no, so, but, but listen, but guess what, though? But at, at that same time, I've even had to have that conversation with women before. It's like. And then, the, and, and this was like after the breakup, you'd be honest and be like, oh, "Yeah, I was expecting for you to show up for me the same way I seen you show up for that other woman." And then if you don't, of course, someone feel some type of way. Come on, it's third and ten, ten seconds. They probably gonna kick a field goal. This shit went over time. Um, yeah, so I think it just realistically, it, it, it ha I mean, it happens. I get, I get it. I can understand that she could be speaking from a bitter space, but then I also can understand where it's like. To, this is like to me, people, I just look at it crazy no, as a podcast. It's like you can't. It's no way you no, can have no, a kid. That's and nobody just like, that's just like how many people were sitting there kicking in Nick Cannon back. And then you have some. Do you have any of his baby mother say he a deadbeat? And he got a love. No, kids. no, because because but that but his but his thing is probably goes back to what we was originally talking about a couple like an hour ago or a couple minutes ago, where is they happy with the money? They don't care about the emotional part. But that, but that's my thing. It's just one of the. Uh, you can sit here and call me a deadbeat because I'm not picking up. But if I'm still sending a check or I'm still paying whatever I'm paying, the, you know what I got my name on, I'm still a yeah, deadbeat. So, so uh, but do you think? Okay, let's so let's stay right there with Nick Cannon. Do you think realistically, Nick Cannon kids may not feel like he a deadbeat when they get older? Because that's the baby mothers. The baby mothers could be happy with the gifts, the money, whatever the case may be. But when his kids get older, do you? They, I don't think they're gonna feel it. Cause you don't know it unless you, like I said, you hear it from somebody else. Because if you see your father, you you got all these things. Are you really gonna be saying, "Oh, damn, my dad a deadbeat"? If you see your kid, if you if you if you sit here, your schedule is set, and well, all right, well, I see dad on Friday or whatever the case mm -hmm. may be. How, why why would I say he a deadbeat? I still see him. There's some people who don't even see that, don't even know who their father is. Would you call him a deadbeat? Yeah, that, yeah. I mean, that's different. Yeah, yeah for sure. I, I'm I, I I don't. I mean, because that's my thing. If I'm doing, I'm checking out the boxes. Like I said, the quality time and the, you know, what I'm saying missing those moments. I get it. And some of those are value. Cost the some of those are value or whatever the case may be. But that's what. I'm, but did do, do that put me in the category where I'm deadbeat? I feel like when you say a deadbeat, I don't talk. I don't see him. Nothing. I don't have nothing to do with him. They don't even know I exist. Mm -hmm. That's a deadbeat. That means you're dead. Nobody know you exist. That it. But if you telling me, like I said, I've been doing all this time, and then now you hit a rep, I don't. That's not a deadbeat. I, I, ain't, I mean, I'm not. I guess. Well, I guess, well, we could kind of go relationship, kind of sports. Uh, NBA rising star uh, Kevin Porter Jr. was arrested today. Of course, I told y'all earlier that New York Fashion Week was going on. Kevin Porter Jr. was arrested on Monday morning for domestic violence. Um, accusations assaulting his girlfriend former WNBA player I ain't gonna screw her name up her name last name is crazy but the crazy do you know the crazy thing is do you believe it I know you better nigga do you believe it uh yeah I don't because I don't he one he's a small dude and she I mean she played in the WNBA so she ain't a small girl but I just <sighs> And it's, it's fashion week, so let's be clear. You he could be you don't he could be one of them niggas you too easy, you too fur, flirty, da, 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 and then the conversation go one way. I ain't saying that she ain't pop off on him or what how to argue you started off. But if you ask me, do I think one, I think realistically, you in a whole you if you get in an no, argument so, in a hotel, you yeah, already so that's fried. So, so that's what I'm my, my maybe that's my question is when you say domestic violence, is it actually physically or can it be verbally? You know what I'm saying? Like, because I think sometimes it, if it's verbally, like you shouting and disturbing, I think that's still considered, if they get called, that's still considered domestic violence. Well, just, to, I guess, to kind of even tie this into each other, uh, the girl's sister is, um, what's your man, the quarterback that died, um, he got hit by the truck and she just sued? Sean, um, um, the, um Haskins. Haskins yeah. uh, that's his, that, that's, that's her sister. So she tweeted, she wrote instant storied him and was like, I hope you all think you sit here gonna put your hands on my sister and you're gonna be able to dribble another basketball again. Damn. Hey, um, so that's my but guess what? But again, and I 
I don't, I don't know. His dad did play in the NBA, but I don't know. Because I remember that video of him, his, he saying something to LeBron. That was him, right? Or Porter was somebody Jr. else when he was Porter saying? Jr.? Yeah. I think his dad did play. Mm. Damn. Yeah, I, like I said, I don't you I, I my only thing to, to any of these right. niggas is dog, you you have to understand dog, how to just take your L's though when it comes to arguing with women sometimes, especially if it's in person. Like over the phone, you could do whatever you could get saucy, you want to get extra hyped up with her, but though in person, you especially if you in a hotel, though, even if no, not even if you're just in a hotel, if you live in an apartment, not nigga, I have no, I've done this before. If you get loud and my name on the lease, bro, all right, cool, you got it. You win. Cause we ain't no, I'm not about to sit here and turn up with you and then somebody call the police and this and you got a company, they come to my shit and that's not happening, dog. You get loud, I get quiet. I play Michael Jackson right now, Matthew Black away. Cause it's just, it, realistically, it's just not going to play in your favor. I'm just sorry. Like, especially these athletes, they going to learn, dog. I'm going to keep saying this a million times. Always, look, and I'm not trying, I ain't blaming the women. I'm just stating a fact. For eighty percent of of male athletes that have ever took an L or had to get an early retirement or lose big con time contracts, it's most of the time behind a woman, dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You crashing out behind a woman because she mm -hmm. cheated on you or she did whatever, and you did something to somebody else, or you and her getting an argument or whatever. Look at Miles Bridges; he still ain't even he, he this his body he's about to just come back this season, and he still ain't get the pay that he was supposed to originally get. He got back. Shit, no, he didn't. Yeah, he got, a, he got something. He Marcus, he's supposed to get like one forty. He, no, he no, got like ten million dollars. Because I think you, you, you looking long term wise, and I, I like who's saying you got what you get. You got what you get. You know what I'm saying? Because you coming off of whatever the case, we don't know. You got what you got because he didn't even serve. Did he serve his suspension yet? Yeah, he, he didn't play none last year. But I don't think he was suspended. She, why wasn't he? He didn't play none last year. He didn't play at all. Not think, one game. No, but I don't think he was suspended, though. I don't think he was suspended. I think he was just because of the trial. I don't think he was suspended. No, Nick, the trial was before the season even started. And that trial happened fast. Yeah, he didn't play none last think. year. Ain't nobody missing out on a whole year for nothing. You crazy. I, I, I ain't think he got suspended. Oh, he did. He missed a, He missed a whole. He missed literally all last year. I thought they were just waiting on his trial hearing. And that's why they don't. Nah, it's a dub. I'm like, I'm gonna say this a million times. Y'all dudes better learn how to play that pocket pool, buddy. You I ain't. <laughs> you know what's the funny shit? I, I was watching um the Eddie Murphy Raw last mm -hmm. night. No, he talked about women. It's crazy because Man, I he, can't believe it. He talked about back then, like that during that time. It's the same shit going on nowadays. It's just the stuff they asking for and, and, and wanting is a little bit different. And he when I tell you that nigga was going boy. I'm glad it wasn't no cancel culture back then, because the shit he was saying on that, on that joint, man, y'all go watch that shit. Well, what'd you say? What is it? Eddie, Eddie Murphy, Murphy Raw? Raw? The one with the blue blue and black uh, suit on, not the red suit. Oh, no, that red suit, he was going crazy. But no, that blue and black joint, he was talking about the women. No, he, listen, watch that shit. Watch that shit. Oh, did you hear? Um, oh, somebody else dropped this week. What was the last? Um, damn, what was after that? Glorella. Uh, oh, um, a boogie. Did you like that? Did you? Oh, yeah, I, it was. Let, let the John load up, and then we can uh, talk about it. Yeah, it was cool though. It was straight. I like that. I like the third song better than I actually like the. Um, See, I didn't even listen to. I didn't. I, I just heard the birthday joint. Yeah, the birthday joint was cool, but it, he got another song. Uh, the, it was. It was only three. It was an EP. It was. A, it was only three songs. The third song to me was the best song. The birthday joint was cool. Like the birthday joint was cool, but that third one, I was like, oh yeah, this joint straight. I added that joint to my gym playlist. Like that was good money. I ain't gonna. J T E 
Jets. Come on, Jets. NFL can get their back kicked down. Why? Because of Aaron Rodgers? Yeah. They can get their ass kicked. Why? I mean, it's still, it's still a good game, no, though. No, it's not. They're going to get their... Because people may complain about the whole... The grass. The turf. Them playing on that turf. Remember, that's what Odell was saying about him last year in the Super Bowl. And they just play on turf. They need to go back to playing on real grass. Oh, oh the, bam, the the running back for um for for Baltimore. Towards this plan on turf. Remember that? Remember the year before that? Oh, they boys that got hurt before. We're playing on running before the season even started. It was turf. Mm-hmm. See, I don't be knowing which Jones like what's I don't think nobody playing on really gra- real grass. Maybe Lambo. It's only a select few fields that actually play on real grass now. All them newer stadiums don't. Play, none of them play on grass. Because of convenience of taking up the grass and covering, because it's probably easy, yeah. or it's probably even easier to fix. And the, and the NFL, but really about the because it's Aaron Rodgers, and if that's what oh, it yeah, is, no, no, for sure. And a lot of people don't, and it's just that that betting stuff, though. That betting stuff will make people get you better stop saying <laughs> what I'm not. I get it, the controversy with the betting, but it's just like. You no, you, you no, I hear saying, what you no, said, but a lot of people bet. No, 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 no. A lot of people bet, but you can't like with all these documents and all this shit coming out. You, you, you. Then they better that better not be no reason why you, you better blame it on the field. Be gonna fix the field situation. Stop, stop. Because like I said, because now it's just like, well, how you know your uncle's not a referee? He ain't throwing that game. Cause he got you betting on the pot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, like, oh, yeah, no, 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 for sure, for sure. That's for why sure. I said don't, don't let that betting be. Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I don't think it's that. But let's get into some real quick. Uh, this is the crazy thing, and I don't even know. I don't know I, how it slipped my mind to not talk about it earlier when we brought up Meg and Cardi. But they gonna perform. <laughs> my bad. VMA. They gonna perform at the VMAs, but Nicki Minaj is hosting it. No, I thought Diddy was. No, Nicki Minaj is hosting the VMAs. What is Diddy doing? I don't know, Are but Nicki. Nicki Minaj is hosting the VMAs and Meg Thee Stallion and Cardi B is performing. Oh, she probably just not going to do that part. I just want to see how that's going to... Not she even just... That that, y'all going to be in the, still in the same building. If it's... No, the last time... Oh, you said... Smoke what? Marcus, whole time. I think We've you forgot... We've never seen no female rappers fight. Who? Nicki and Cardi. Nigga, at the, yes, at the Met Gala. And that's how... And when Nicki, the uh, security guard hit Cardi and she had a nap on her forehead. Oh, I definitely don't remember that. You don't remember Cardi B throwing her shoe at Nicki Minaj? No. Oh my God! Yeah, you tripping? You better no, Google that. that yes, at the Met Gala. This was the same time, like when Motorsport was out. No, I don't remember. Pay for it. Yes, but both on Ben Dax to the Met Gala, right? No, Nicki, because you that thing, but then by around or after that, then you talking about I think it end up the pandemic eventually end up happening. So I don't think they need one. Oh, no, because I thought Pen- Nicki came in because that's what her, but about her husband. They was talking about her husband when he got out. He was like, he can't be. Oh, I don't know. I mean, maybe Nikki has been since then, but she ain't go recently. She ain't been going since Cardi was like been going. I think that was the last time them two was in the same job together. So that's crazy. That is something that people probably should um stay tuned and kind of tap in and watch. I, excuse me. I necessarily don't even want to play the uh, clips of this, but I can just kind of give you a briefing on what happened. For people who don't know, Tink and Hitmaker, for people who don't know who Hitmaker is, it's Young Bird. They was dating. Who ain't know that? She made it like that people didn't know, and I'm trying to figure out how she thought people didn't When know. they did that lip service interview, I knew they was... When they did every interview, people yeah. knew that they was dating. Like, they did interviews together, like, and Young Bird don't do... Like, how many songs he produced and albums he did EP? He on two interviews so, with them. Some, he ain't never right, sit in now, on a Ty Dolla Sign interview. Okay, but my question, do you think... Do you think it's true that with, like, he asking for her for money? Yeah, I don't know about that part. So, so let's just let's give people a briefing on what we're talking about. Um, so basically, she's sitting here saying one of the reasons why they had a fallout. Two of the reasons was one day she wanted to end up doing her, her. She wanted to start doing her music by herself again. She didn't want him to keep executive EP, and she just kind of wanted to get her own bag. She didn't want him to keep executive producing. Like her next project, she wanted to do it on her own. And him as being a um. An exec, uh, I want to say she had uh, a, a not is it not epic? It's um, 
What's the independent John that everybody at? Oh my God, I'm drawing a blank right now. But anyway, he had a label and she signed to the label. He's an exec at that label. So she wanted to kind of just like, yeah, I want to do my own John, but he kind of was like, nah. So they was already beefing over that. And then she said that he asked her for some money, which do seem kind of crazy. It's like, nigga, you done produced a lot of big songs, but not Matt saying did you, he could be bad with money. He could have made a lot of money. Don't necessarily say he can't be bad with money. Cause he is a super flashy nigga. Like every time you see him, he got a bunch of chains and on. She's, talent, she's talented as hell. So no, for sure. And a lot of people sleep on her music because I think she is one of those people where it's like nah, her shit is she's bad. not an algorithm girl. Like she don't kind of stay in the out. And that's what, again, shout out to Coco Jones. So Coco Jones has, makes great music, but she kind of figured out the algorithm game. She figured out how to stay in front of the algorithm. But for somebody like Tink, it's just not like the algorithm. She just well, that was that joint we played on here about the um. Which more call it? Uh, we didn't. We was gonna make it a topic. We didn't make it talk about the whole fucking you and recycle me. I was oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, the, yeah, the, the, yeah. On, off her last project. Yeah, yeah the, the Tink John off her last project. So, sure. but again, so they had a beef, and they, basically, I guess she said they wasn't dating. So both of them was on it at a um. They both was in Cancun, and it was his birthday, and I guess she even shouted him out, like posted him on her page. Earlier that day, she she see him out at a restaurant with with some other females. This might be a rollout. It could be. This could be a rollout. Because if you both for y'all partner, y'all making money. You so, but listen, what I'm saying. So she at the restaurant. I guess she she trying to get some acknowledgement from him. Like, all right, we just breaking up. Like, nigga, this don't act like we've been broke up for forever. But then she tried to say that she kind of been letting him do his thing on the side. So it's like, why get upset then? But she's basically said he didn't acknowledge her. He tried to play big at a restaurant. So I don't even know how y'all even get in the car to leave off together. And they got in the car. She popped off on him. That's a rollout. That's a rollout. Because if you both, we both got, because like I said, I didn't even look at his um, joint he put up. I yes! Like was, J-T-E. That's a 122.16. Nigga, what's good? <laughs> Shout out to the Jets. Hold it up for you, big dog. Let me text these. Y'all niggas some bitches. I heard y'all in here crying the whole time this game's going on. That's a bad look for Johnson Allen. Hell yeah. Yeah, the, the, see, when games like this, these be the games that I can't wait to listen to first take in the morning or listen to, because you, this is, again, not making it a race thing, but... Not, you know, it's not a race thing, but I feel like it was tension already in there. Because even with Stefan Diggs, I think they was reporting less. It might have been in, it, towards the end. Or what I think maybe the last game they played, they were saying it was kind of, you know, a little rougher between them. But now I, I do, be, even with Stefan Diggs, this might not be a good look with you. You you mostly quiet. You don't talk too much. But if you leave this situation, you about to leave another quarterback for what? So, so do you do? You, oh, do you think they you do you think they start treating Stephon Diggs like James Harden? Not necessarily James Harden. I wouldn't treat him like James Harden because he's not out publicly doing the the antics or anything like that. But it's just it's not a good look for you to be. Oh, this is a tough L to take to go into the locker room. Oh, Aaron no, Rodgers it's, didn't it's, play. It's Aaron Rodgers didn't play. Like if Aaron Rodgers played, but, it's cool. But then on top of we still like we can't put no slouch on the Jets like they're not a good team. They were a good team last year, so we can't. You can't put. You know what I'm saying? Like, and shout out to what's because that's the one with the um um the coach, right? The Muslim coach. The Jets. Yeah, the ball head dude. That's the head coach. He, he Muslim. Yeah, I think he was the first Muslim coach or something like that. Oh, yeah, I mean, you, you some like ball headed like yeah. strong nigga, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, you might be right. Head. Yeah. Cause he was he took over last year, so no, no shout out to him. Like I said, he got he turned them turned things around. I'm not gonna discredit. Him. That's a tough L though. Yeah, it's a tough L. That's, that's, that's a tough L though. That's a tough L. I ain't gonna hold you. But Von, Miller, listen, Von Miller didn't play right. Nah, Von Miller ain't back, gonna be back, back, back until like the middle of the season. Okay, yeah. So no, no, yeah, that's a tough L. But anyway, just go. I get go back to what we were talking about. We were talking about uh, Tink and Hitmaker. I, I'm with you. I, it, it could be a rollout. It could honestly be a yeah, rollout. I'm, I'm starting to think because I never even seen her. I never seen her. Interview wise. I've heard of music, but I never seen her. Oh, interview. she did a couple of interviews for that last album. No, 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 the one that no, you, the no, album that you like, she did I, interviews like I for said, that. One. No, I never seen her like for for me to see this clip of you. Like I never seen you personally wise. Oh, like put I your li- personal I information you, out there. For I listen sure, to for you sure. on lip service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I listen to, but I never seen like actual video clips. So for them to sit here and post you 
talking on your phone. Phone, like, yeah, yeah, you, you're absolutely right. Man, that this is that's, that's way, like smaller, it's smaller way, smaller yeah, you're absolutely right. It, it's way out of character for her. It, it is realistically, you're absolutely right. She's not one of those people. She don't show her private life like that. So this is way out of her character. You're absolutely right. I, I can't disagree with you on that one. But just real quick, I guess um we could kind of change gears, but we can kind of keep it on, I guess, relationship stuff a little bit off the shot. To me, the only real big takeaway from the shot last week was, and it kind of been teetering over for the last couple of episodes was uh Keisha and and um and Kevin's mom wife basically trying to be friends with her ex. So they had a scene in the jump before Kevin came and told him that they was moving to LA. They had a scene where the mother kept like basically like Nick, why I'm not enough friend for you. And then the and her wife was trying to say because why I, I don't have no lesbian friends. That was her excuse. I don't have no lesbian friends. And then the mother was like, well, what the hell am I? And she was like, I need other friends out. So I need other friends outside of you. So then her question was like, oh, so I'm not enough friend for you. Now listen to, and, and I'm, and I can be, and I might say, I'm sound, waiting to hear you. I, I might not listen to what I'm saying. I'm I might say, no, to listen to what I'm saying. I I'm may like, sound like a simp because to be, if I'm in a relationship, nigga, I, I don't like hanging with you dudes anyway. So nigga, my girl, if I'm in a relationship, you, we have to be able to be able to, one, we've got to be able to be, be able to be, be very combative. And we got to be able to just have like these random just conversations. I need you no, to be my friend. You, I need you. Right. I need my no, no, girlfriend. No, 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 have no, baby. No, I too. get it. You can have those random conversations. We can have those. But then there's probably some conversation that I just can't have with you. Yes, I'm not gonna have the conversation with the guys. I'm like even with their com like when they're doing their little meetups and all that that they starting to do. It's just like because when they asked her, it was like, "Well, damn, are you still?" You know, like I feel with her, it's still feelings. I feel like it's still selling. So, so that so uh, even though when she had that conversation, when she had that conversation mm -hmm. had the, when they was all standing there, mm -hmm. she was a little rolling her little J up. Mm -hmm. It's still feelings involved. I get that part. And I can't you I mean, me as a guy, that's just like saying, Well, I can't have my guy. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't, we can't talk sports. Like with her, I don't feel like see, it's kind of hard because I don't know that, you know, how their demographic. You know how but they so, are. So, 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 no, no, like, so but, but, but okay, so let's just, so I'm, I'm with you on that one. So I realistically, I think if it was, if you need me to say as a, as a guy than it is for a female. Yeah, for, female. for two female. Yeah, because realistically, she's looking at it like, yeah, you are, you ain't trying to be friends with, get you a male friend. Why do you need a, fee, a friend that you used to have sex with? Somebody that you actually wanted to propose to before. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the, that's the problem. Like you can't, though, it's no, Marcus, this is what I'm saying. I don't care. There's no way in hell that my girl could be friends with her, basically saying somebody you wanted to make your fiance. No, dog, stop. How? Because those you can't those feelings don't go away. You bought a ring, you wanted to propose for somebody. Those feelings do go away, but it just they, those feelings go away. How they go away and you watching them on camera not go away. She's still flirty, she's stuttering with the girl, like the girl pressing her out, and she's like, Oh, why you getting why you getting standoff? And she can't even be honest. She kind of like see now, now, that's why I said the feelings do go away in my, I, I don't know the time frame of them dealing or what it was. It do can it do seem like I said it do seem kind of like damn she just popped out the blue kind of like oh damn this is the same chick you know right before we got together you exactly said, no I I hear that part but I'm 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 just speaking like yes feelings do change and I feel like you can't get a difference you know like are we good as friends no nah, no you can't I just me personally I wouldn't be comfortable with it I would be just like Kevin and their mother no for what like what do you why hey big dog. You got a lot of things to worry about besides her. What? What else you have to worry? I about? just feel like it's just what I feel like with her. It's just a lot going on with like you. So let's say okay. So do you look at it as she was just bad parenting? What you mean? And what? And what's with, with her because she was so focused on her relationship with the girlfriend. Besides believing in Kevin, and besides you know taking um 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 what's her what you call it? You know what I'm saying like her side. Like you were so focused on this this lady, and then this is like now that the kids and everybody has you know moved on about their way. Uh, like you didn't value that time spending with them. You was more so. No, I can't say that because I think even realistically, even for the the one, well, I don't, what, what's the girl named Dre? She even played. She played after they got used to it. Don't get it twisted. I, like after I guess whatever that season where they kind of got used to their mom, dad, and a woman. She showed up for them, and that's why even when Kevin was telling, talking about um. 
saying she that he was going. Up. Dre showed up. Now. Yeah, Dre, yeah, Dre not, showed up. Not yeah, the mom, yeah, though. not the mom, but Dre showed up as a mo- as a mother figure. Like she held it down. Like for a lot of times, it was easier for the kids to go talk to Dre than it was to actually go talk to their mother. So, so that's what I'm saying. So because you chased this woman, you wasn't paying attention to us. Yes, she filled in and became of of whatever a figure, another figure for us. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm saying. So you pretty much you lost the kids, and now her. She, now she needs that's what I'm saying. I feel like she's more hurt because the friendship wise, like, well, you gotta seek somebody else. I, I thought I was supposed to be your best friend. You gotta seek somebody else. Mm-hmm. Now my kid, my son's gone. My son gone. My daughter's gone. gone. Yeah. She don't have nothing else. Yeah, that would be hard. That'd be a hard pill to swallow. I think that'd be a hard pill for anybody to swallow. But what's more important, your love or your family? Uh, I think so. M- now it's so far gone. It it it, it has to. It, it should be. It's your it's your love now. But realistically, if you're talking about when they were younger, it should have been the kids more. But again, we had this conversation every time, and I always keep saying is how many people are prioritizing still trying to be lit, still trying to not be washed up, and not this and the third. Where you kind of like, I'm sure it's a lot of people. If you being honest and paying attention to how you're dating or how you're pursuing whoever you're dating. If what like what you saying and the questions you asking, I'm sure if people be honest with themselves, you can see a lot of you in in Keisha and Kevin mom, where you're pursuing a person more than you're pursuing your kids. That relationship you're trying to build with your significant other, you might be right. If she would have took time to, and it's hard and it sucked to kind of put some of that blame on them where it's like. Cause I felt like she tried, like even when she was catching Kevin smoking and she was like trying to steal parent on that. Like, I don't think she tried to allow Keisha to be like, I, I don't know how I, I, I me mean, now when we talking about it, we talking about it out loud. I feel bad trying to say that's all on her. Cause it's hard it's because not, still no, even no, no, realistically, it's, even it's not, being I'm a not, parent I'm in not, Chicago, I'm, I'm know no, it's a little but, bit harder. No, I hear that part, but it's just like when we sit here and say, well, damn, you don't have no father, father figure in their life. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So, Drea did her part. She kind of made herself that. Well, you, I'm the kind of like the cool parent. Mm-hmm. You come talk to me. I for can sure. kinda, you know what I'm saying? Like she mm-hmm. played that role. Mom was more of a strict. I'm, a, you know, this is what we doing. Mm-hmm. So it's just like I do blame. You know what I'm saying? Like because you did, you you chose your side of the role to pick. Okay, so let me reverse it then. Then what do you say? What do, would you say about Papa's dad? Because his dad is super strict, and he's a dad. He's a hands on dad. You, he is strict, right? He is strict to the, 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 to the core. You can't be strict to the core when I know your, your secret. That, that, that's what I'm saying. That's where you fell at. I can't sit here and beat this whole perfect life, but then you fucking taking drugs. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So, but then, but then that to me, you, you, you expose your kids to too much. And now they see, well, that's anything. Like if I sit here and say, Nah, you can't do this. You can't sell candy. Oh, but well, dad, you sell. So, so are you? So you are you blaming? So you basically saying Papa's dad was wrong for being too, I guess, too open with his son, allowing him to know too much. But I, I don't necessarily know if he. I don't necessarily if he knew. I don't. I don't necessarily. But hold on. I don't. I don't necessarily know if he was being honest with. If I'm trying to remember back in the previous episode, I don't necessarily know if he was being honest with Papa, saying that he took the money until he got caught. Yeah. When he got caught and got put on blast, and he got he got locked up for that, so now you kind of don't have no choice but to be honest with your but kid you, and be honest with your with your with your community. But Papa Dad has been a he's been a stereotype hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? Like because she has a a child, like you you tell me I can't deal with this. It's I'm pretty sure it's ten times girls worse than you know what I'm saying her. But you sitting there like you don't know the girl and you putting this no you can't. Hate. I'm just like no no no. A, no. Uh, but I think I think you would I think this, the backstory you may have missed is. Their fathers got beef, that, but that's but dude, who you taking that out on? You taking that on the son and that daughter. Mm-hmm. Your beef between you and the father ain't got nothing to do with the kids. I see. That's why. That's why I said you been you you pretty much been a hypocrite. Like you saying, oh, with X Y Z, I don't want you to do it, but but you got beef with him over some. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be, you saying, well, he did this, but okay, you taking drug money. You saying he's scamming people by passing the collection pay. So what's the difference between you but taking that drug money? And you've been doing it for years. <clears throat> I mean, but you put so, 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 these uh, rules on me. No, 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 no. And I'm listen to what I'm saying. I'm with you. And if y'all if y'all have heard, and I guess realistically, and I think that's re- if we if we haven't it, even bringing it back off from TV and just listen to reality, I think that's realistically for most people, that's kind of people's beef when it comes to religion. Because most people feel like 
nobody's perfect. You guys are trying to portray yourself as perfect. And that's why people get so turned off from the church because most people in their mind, like, no, I can't be perfect. And that's why even when I talk about fitness, I'm calm, I'm okay with seeing saying, yeah, I work out a lot, but guess why I don't have a six pack? I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I eat a lot of candy. Mm -hmm. So so but you, but that's again, that's somebody being instead of me sitting here saying, work out, work out, and I'm not telling you my the flaws with it. That that to me is you're 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 misleading people. And I think that's even why a lot of people don't even connect when we talk about like personal trainers or even people on social media who trying to persuade themselves a certain way, people disconnect. And that goes back into when the conversation we was having with Light Skin Keisha and and the, and um and her fucking fiance and why the baby mother got mad because she's just like, I don't necessarily know if I would be as mad if you weren't trying to portray a certain way on social media. So that kind of goes back into this that this conversation, and that is all just one circle. It ties it back around. It's like, you're absolutely right. I can take your advice, or I can take what you're saying, or take the way you're portraying a little bit differently. If you weren't, if I haven't seen your flaws, and you've lit, you know what I'm saying? Like you're you're kind of contradicting the flaws I've seen in yourself. Because my only thing, and just like even even that in that moment at the table, you got. Um, which we call it sitting across, and he just like when he was telling him, he was just like, "If you keep talking to that girl, I'm gonna make you work at the church." That's a punishment. I guess because he's basically trying to say, "I can keep, I can keep my eyes on you 24 seven now because you're not gonna be working in smoke." But if I'm doing something that's positive, I'm not out here on the street. I'm doing the right thing. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That next episode gonna be a crazy one. Cause that's crazy though. They. That's crazy yeah, how they no, did no, Papa's no, father. And, 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 uh, and again, you know what's so crazy? And just to even a, even to tie back into just and just to tie back in, just where I get just if we're speaking from just a black man's point of view, and even just in the dating world, how like even with Keisha being so hard on Emmett, where it's like and for, and I and I've made a endless content on TikTok and women argue about me, but oh, she show up as a mother and she do this and the third. But just for him, he kept saying like, dog. You keep complaining like everything I'm doing. I'm in bed with this nigga because you kept asking for more shit. Now you sitting here complaining about certain shit. And then she was basically, she even threw that back. You think these kids raised their self? But he even tried to say, I'm not trying to throw it in your face. Who paid for therapy? Me. Who paid for this? Put a roof over your head? Me. But you still complaining. You finding ways to continuously complain about shit. Now you had this nigga feel like he had to play Superman. Almost got himself killed. Because you you been all you're doing is yeah 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 you being combative you being a fucking negative Nancy you just right no but you being super you're being Superman and you're trying to please her and trying to keep her happy mm -hmm. but I think where he's messing up you're trying to keep her happy you're trying to keep this person happy you're trying to do this you're trying to do that you doing too much but do you feel but just but my question is do you feel like as a black man is that part relatable to you? It's, or has it ever been no, relatable it's, to you? It's, it's absolutely relatable. It's, 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 it's relatable to me, for sure. And that's why I'm saying you can't be mad at, for somebody, like I said, as hard as I work or whatever I do, I'm doing, oh, I got to make this, you know what I'm saying? To make the money, it make ends meet. Yeah, well, you ain't got this in time. Well, it's not fast enough. But I'm the only, I'm only one person. Mm -hmm. So you can't, you can't not be mad. You just got to take your responsibility. If you put this on your plate and you put all this in front of you, I gotta keep this person happy. It, that, that's that's what you did. So, but so my question though is again, like what you said, where you say you can relate to that. I can you you should be able to relate to him. Not um, he not wanting to disappoint. He wanting to show up for everybody. And even in of course in those in those interviews and when they having those meetings. I, one, I don't like how they're not um they not honest with each other. But you can kind of all all I don't of them. Think nobody, I feel like none of them are going to be honest with you because. All of them have something attached to something that they value. Because even like with, with with Vic, I can't sit here and tell y'all I, I witnessed this or whatever because now I'm putting y'all all in harm's way. Everybody got something to lose. The only person I probably feel like don't have nothing to lose is his little brother. Who, who little brother? Um... Uh, Vic, little brother. Oh yeah, he don't. And, he, and, 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 and that's why he he don't care. He don't care. But even with him saying what he said, and then with the brother replying back to him, it's like, damn, y'all keep me out of the shit. But it's just like, all right, little nigga, you ain't gotta be here. Yeah, but I, I'm sure realistically, it's gonna but, make. But, him, but, but I don't then, have to but, be there. But that's but what's then, gonna make but, him want to leave. Then, but then at the end of the day, I can tie back, nigga. I'm doing this for you. I got you out of that situation with Duda. Now you here with me. 
You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you playing. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like one because remember didn't he, that's how he got caught with that body. I, I can't. You, that, that's the only thing that's blowing me because I can't really remember yeah, back how, how far how, on exactly I think what that's happened. How he got? I think that's how he got caught with that body because, like I said, he wanted he wanted him out of that out of underdo the hand, and I'm taking. You know what I'm saying? I think that's how he got pinned on that body. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not, if, I, I think if I if I remember, I think that's how he got. He got put onto that that whole situation, driving that car. Yeah, it's a tough one. That was a good episode. No, that was a good episode. No, it was a good episode, and it's tough. And it, even with the Ahmad Shepard character, it's just like <sighs> Vic knew what he did. Vic, Vic did the right yeah, of thing. Of course, I don't. I, he yeah. did the foul thing, but Come he did the foul. right thing. Yeah, because nigga, because you could you can be a snitch now, nigga. You are you are you are a politician. Why not? But you just trying to you trying to if eliminate snitch, you still you still conspiracy. If I could tell this young nigga right here to take care of him, that's your uncle, you kill him, boom, boom, boom. All right, I just look out for you, make sure you don't, you know, if, if it do fall back on you. I can't sit here and snitch because I was I was with it. Just like he said, was he dead yet? Nah. You could have stopped it then. Yeah, I don't I just don't think Amal Shepard character is like I don't think he's too far from Emmett character. I don't think he built like that. He's he's not. And remember I said, okay, so remember I said this before when I said um, him having that gun would do to make him have to kill um, Emmett. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, Ahmad. And would he make Emmett kill have to kill mm -hmm. Ahmad? Now, I feel like uh, Ahmad about to get Emmett to try to go kill. How? Emmett. How are you going to do that? Because he ain't got no gun now. Emmett ain't built. No. no, that's what I'm saying. I think he, but who else? He don't know nobody. That's what I'm saying. When he's saying you don't know nobody, he's going to be like, well, you got to find somebody. I feel like that's the only person he probably can talk to is Emmett. Who else can he talk to? He ain't cool with nobody else. Yeah, he not. Because he, he can't talk to his the uh, dude's white hand, right hand man. Mm -hmm. He might try to. He, I mean, he. I don't know. He might. I don't he, know how to. I think I feel like that dude ain't cracking. I feel like everybody else is not for Duda. I feel like he the only one to probably do the like Duda's got. You know what I'm saying? Like I stand by Duda. No, nah, I think it's the younger dude, the young dude who stole who? the car. The dude with the tattoos on his face. I think he'll flip on dude. You think he will flip on dude? Yeah. But what young dude you talking about? The, the one, one who, who who's with it, who's when they was talking, he was like, "It's only three people." Is is it's the the dude with the tattoo um, on the face, the other young dude, and then it's Bakari. Bakari. So, so, so the, the other young, yeah, the other okay, young dude, yeah, okay. yeah, the other young dude. But real quick, I guess so we can just kind of switch gears before we get out of here. Uh, I meant to mention this with Coco Golf. She went on. She was on. I guess her Instagram live, and she was just telling people like she showing her what to do with the money. She won three. The winning for the three uh, for the U.S. Open was three million dollars. So she won three million dollars, and people was like, "Oh, pay off your student loans or this, that, and the third. And she was just like, "Bro, I'm 19 and I live with my parents. I don't have no bills, and I've been playing tennis since y'all know me. Student what student? Loans. That's exactly what she said. What student loans y'all think I got? I didn't go to college. I don't have no debt. Well, so again, I don't. Loan, she's an athlete. But that's just people. Again, that's people pushing off. What they going through on her, and they not just and, mo, and you got them up. Marcus, that's what they was in their comment section saying. She was reading them, and that's what she that's and she the same way you look right now. That's how she was looking when she read it. She was just like, "Dog, I didn't She's go to college." Nineteen and one, the U.S. Open. What and she at least on? been popping for the last two years. So she been popping since seventeen at least. That I know, I've heard her name for the last two years. So you sitting here saying because I want to say with her and uh. Naomi Osaka was battling. And that was okay. on the Netflix show. That was during the pandemic. So, nigga, that was like, like I said, for the last two she years. Was long, she, two years. she was like 15 when she first. So, but that's what she said. But again, but that goes back to the conversation of what we were saying originally. A lot of black people don't know nothing about tennis, don't follow tennis. So they don't know that she ain't got to, you played, don't have to. Yeah, because when she played Serena, one of them, I think she was like 15. So that's my point. That's what she's like. She laughed like she was laughing. Like that's exactly what she she looked the same way you said. Student loans, like, huh? Why would I have student loans? I'm 19 years old. I didn't go to college, and I live with my parents, so I don't have no debt. I ain't got no crap. What am I doing? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So shout outs to her for that one. Um, what else we was at? Talked about the little baby concert. Uh. It, Kim Moki, and it, this is a crazy thing. Like she's the highest paid uh, women's college basketball coach. She's getting ten years, thirty two million dollars, which don't really seem like a lot. Like that big number sound, but ten years is basically like three million dollars a year. That's a lot. I mean, for co for women's college basketball, but yeah, I guess. Uh, but I guess real quick, the one the conversation that I wanted to have was a conversation that a lot of people were having about Caleb Williams. Oh, let that John load up, and then we can come back in with it. 
um, as soon as it finished low, yeah. the young, the light skinned quarterback nigga for uh, USC. Who was he? The quarterback for USC. But they was basically, but basically on all the sports shows, I guess he earlier this year, he said he might come back for next year. He just won the Heisman last year. So they basically saying he could win it again this year. So they basically, remember what I told you? They were saying the Arizona should tank to get him. But he basically saying, it's not, I, I might stay another year. And they basically like, why would you stay? But I'm like, dog, y'all are thinking about football when y'all was in college. You niggas been retired for 15 plus years. So you told me 20 years ago, Oh, these niggas getting NILs making he played for USC, nigga. That's the the most pop in college. I don't know. I I, I don't I see Marcus, I, I, he got a commercial nigga. No, 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 no. I know I, I get what you but I just feel like even when, when you talk about I think just college sports football wise. Basketball, yes. But football, I don't think you can what's what's this the second, third year? Who? For him. I think this is third year now, I think. Yeah, I'm saying I don't, I don't know about football. I don't know you can pull that four years, especially at quarterback. Shit, why not? I don't know too many who played four years. Uh, probably not the good ones because of the money thing. But what I'm saying is, oh, we'll just wait till the John Lowe's over the weekend. I'm sorry. I glad only bet five dollars, but damn, damn Tucci. A Rob is done for. Do I get my contract back? Hmm? Do I get my contract back? What you mean? Look for him. They paid him, right? Didn't they pay him? They gave him a contract, right? Oh, Aaron Rodgers? Yeah. yeah. Get that mic back. Damn. This nigga ain't even played. Did he even get a snap off? I don't know. Sheesh. That's crucial. Mm -hmm. NFL, you in trouble. You ready? Mm hmm. So, yeah, the, call, the conversation with Caleb. Uh, Caleb Williams basically been going on where a lot of the analysts was trying to call cap on him saying that he might come back to the USC. If people who don't know who uh, Caleb Williams is, he won the Heisman trophy last year in college football. Realistically, they kind of putting him in the runners. He like, you go on any bet naps, he the leader right now for to get Heisman again. So they basically like, what will be the purpose of trying to come back another year? But I'm looking at it like nigga, every, before I've actually watched the game, like this weekend was the first time I even actually watched him play. He though, he got like four or five different commercials with four or five different companies on TV every time of football. I'm not even just hot, not just college games, even during the pro games, his commercials be on. I didn't even know who he was. I'm like, oh, who is this dude with all these commercials? He got a Wendy's commercial, a Nissan commercial. I, for, I want to say he got one of the commercials with like all the hall of uh, all the other um, I think it's like him, Barry Sanders, and like somebody else in the co in a commercial. He though he got oh, like yeah, a Wendy's commercial. I think it's yeah, it's a it's a Wendy's commercial. He definitely on the Wendy's when commercial. When they all taking like a group pitch or something, yeah, something. Yeah, so okay, so he in that he in it. But my whole point of it is, is though we all seen he got game. I don't necessarily know what the college life is like when they was trying to get him to come come to college. So you sitting here saying, what what do you want me? Why should I realistically come? Why not? Why not stay? If I'm the man on campus, I'm at the biggest college in California. I get no, it's no, I don't get no, you can't scrutinize me because I'm at a college. But then if I see him go to the draft, now I got to see him go, I go to the NFL and let's say if I go to a bum team, now I got to hear y'all sitting here criticizing me. I'm watching what y'all doing to Trey Lance. He was the third pick. So two more, so because I'm one more pick over him, you ain't going to trash me. You're crazy as hell. When I can stay in college, still make millions of dollars and still get endless cheeks. I'm the man on campus. I can go to a city where nobody cares about me. Those endless NFL players that live here, nobody cares about no, 90% of the niggas who play for the Redskins never have and never will. They can go to any club. Nobody want them. Only person people probably know right now is Chase Young, and that's because he's from here. So people already knew him before he played for the Redskins. So that's just my only thing. Like, dog, I get it. I see it. Like, if I'm making in, dog, I mean, he literally got four national TV commercials. So I can get it. Like, dog, I don't, I'm not, what, what was, what's my rush? What would be my need for me to sit here and say, 
I'm a, I'm a, I need to go to the pros. I get it. Back in the day, yes. When college players, when Jameis Winston, Jameis Winston yeah, we'll had to steal, lo- you know what I'm saying, steal we'll, 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 crab Reggie legs Bush. and Reggie Bush yeah. and all them. Yeah, yeah right, for sure. But you saying now I'm getting millions of dollars and I'm getting more markets. Four national teams. That Wendy's no, no, commercial. No, 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 no,
Shout outs to BG. Of course, I don't think we mentioned already Drake dropping next week. Yeah, that's next week, the 22nd, for all my dogs. Why it was, and, it was, and you know, we talked about this last week. We talked about it with ASAP Rocky. So it was a, a version of people saying that it sounded like it could be AI, but it was a Kendrick Lamar leak verse. Of course, it was an older verse, but he basically dissed Big Sean. I think that was AI. But anyway, for people who don't know, he dissed Big Sean. He dissed French Montana. He dissed J Electronica. And he mentioned Drake and Meek Mills. But he, he really was getting... He didn't he, diss him. That's why I say I feel like that was an AI. He really was getting at Big Sean, though. He went crazy on Big Sean. So my question of it is, the same way I asked you yes, last week about ASAP Rocky. I don't care if it's AI. I don't care if it's an AI. Let's say if it's AI. I don't care. At this moment. No. If I'm Big Sean, you taking no. that bait? No. Why not? I'm cold as ice on no. music. Fuck no. That's suicide. I don't think Big Sean think it's suicide. Shit. Okay. Try it. Nigga, he smoked you on the control joint. Try yeah, but... it if you want to. Try it if you want to. I Try it. Janae IQ can't save you. Try it. So she you... can play her healing, her damn, mm, all that shit for you. It's a dead... Admission. So if you so if you was Drake, would you would you acknowledge this? Or you would you would you dance? If you Drake, or you you just like, hey, I know it ain't real. No, because he didn't. I know, and the only person who needs to acknowledge is 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 Big Sean. I don't think nobody else really. J, Big Big Sean needs to out of anybody. No, that, that's what I'm saying. I don't think from that song, nobody else really can really take. Oh damn, he really. You know what I'm saying? Like, because even with Drake, I don't think he he was really throwing shots at you. Yeah, he just said that little line about him and Meek squashing their beef. But. Yeah, no. If anybody, if you saying this was real, Big Sean, don't do it. Don't even think about it. Close your tap. Close the app. Be a dad. Be a good dad. No. Nah. I'm good Big dad. Sean. I'm tapping in. You got me too. You going to tap in what? What, you going to bring Eminem on there or something? Can he bring Eminem on there to save you? That's it. <laughs> So, you can feature okay. Big Meech. You can feature everybody. It's, I think it's a done deal for you, buddy. You got to, though. You got to have some balls. You a but man. What you going, but my, my only thing is, I don't think Big Sean is a, a diss rapper. I think you need to go listen to his interview on, um, I mean, his song called No Interviews. What do you? He kind of went crazy. on. He kind of gave Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar some smoke. I, I mean, it's not nothing crazy, but if, if I'm big, I think Big Sean can hang. I don't think Big Sean is a scrub ass rapper. I think Big Sean can rap. I'm not. No, listen, no, what I'm no, saying. No, no, I'm not. I'm not saying. Well, I'm. I'm just saying. You jump out there. It. It. Let's just say it was an AI. You jumped out there. You go ahead, make your 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 track right. And then now Kendrick really go in there, and then address you. I don't necessarily can Kendrick say anything crazier than the shit that he said besides yeah you finally famous but not for your boss before who you rap I don't know if Kendrick can say anything harder than that nigga that was a hard no, line Kendrick can rap Kendrick can rap rap like I said when nigga, he, that's when a he, hard bar though but that's what I'm saying so that was that's that's not that's let's say that was that an AI said, yes you finally famous right. but not so for how, your boss before you did that was an AI I, Kendrick can rap rap and he put some shit down I don't think you really want him to get in the that's what I'm saying like. I wouldn't. I, I leave it alone if you, I'm him. You, you know one thing, real quick, because we and we did kind of glance over this, and and let's bring this back full circle because when we were talking about the Cardi and Meg jump, I want to give Lotto a round of applause for Friday still in the show on Friday. She stole the headlines on Friday for Cardi B to spend all that money doing all these press runs. The music and the song that everybody was talking about was the Eggplants and Peaches remix. Everybody was talking about caught me a uh, lotto verse. And she blacked out. She blacked out on there and she and she and she smoked with the with the no neck part. And, the, and my only thing with Koi is where she blow me is like, because we actually listened to the project. So I heard her say that uh, hopped out the bed smoking on that lotto. Don't act you trying to act like this was just a miscellaneous shot. No, you shot back from the last time and now she's shooting back again. But you trying to play like, oh, I don't like why you keep mentioning me. I'm mentioning you because you literally said jumping out of the bed smoking on that lotto. So what you thought I was you you should did your homework and no, I don't play play with the plan with my name. I I'm I'm I get busy. And Lotto got busy, and that's you, you got to think about. It. And that's again it goes back to the conversation we was having earlier about the difference between being organic or allowing the machine to kind of manipulate the audience. That was an organic. Every I was when I made my video talking about it, I didn't even think about that line. Like that shit was uh, it was cool, but Lotto went crazy on that song. 
Like she ran away on that song. Hey, glad like she showed up. Like that whole little uh that that what's that man? I want I gotta read that because I ain't playing no more music. And I'm a matter of fact, I ain't gonna play no more music because of that goddamn uh Bobby John that you sent. Nigga. I ain't nigga, I ain't fucking with that nigga. That was crazy. You what you talking about? Right. Nigga, what? But 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 that was so okay, people who don't know that whole interview that Mikey, you know, with the white chick or whatever, right? The controversy. I feel like that was a play on Drake. I'm not getting no money off of this, but I'm making this little girl hot. Oh, nigga, I'm just gonna play it because you tripping. I'm not, nigga, I'm not playing no song. Wow, so this could happen to me? Nigga, not, first of all, why would you play a Tiger song? Pulled, and it's more about corporate bullying than a PR stunt. Bobby Altoff seemingly came out of nowhere to mass distribution on social media, leading many to call her a corporate plant. However, for those like myself who followed her for a while, we all wondered why she hadn't already blown up. Drake, obviously, needs no intro. It turns out, as Bobby's podcast was crushing it, she then released the Funny Marco episode. Drake followed her, and she decided to shoot her shot and DM him, asking if he'd be on the podcast, and he agreed. Drake paid her travel to come to his location, negotiated where his team would film, produce, and control most everything about the podcast. The podcast was obviously gold. Many of us have seen it. The on-camera awkwardness, along with the seemingly intense chemistry, worked, and as expected, it blew up. However, not long afterward, the episode disappeared from the public and the two unfollowed each other on social media. While many speculated, most all missed the actual reason. We now know exactly why Drake and Bobby's podcast has been pulled and it's more about corporate bullying than actual reason. During the episode, Drake brings up Tyga, who Bobby apparently hasn't heard of, or so she said. He then goes on to play Tyga's track, Rack City. He specifically leaves it playing and airs a very long clip in the episode, which now appears to have been his leverage he planted in the episode from the beginning. Something happened behind the scenes with the two that they are both very tight-lipped about, but whatever it was, Drake decided to use the leverage he had put into the recording. Drake's team reached out to Universal Music Group, which owns the rights to Rack City, and then issued a copyright strike against Bobby's podcast. They filed it under the terms that YouTube has with Universal Music. This meant that all of the proceeds from the podcast would have to be turned over to Universal Music or Bobby could be facing a very large lawsuit. The podcast at that time I'm making a video of that more than a million times, so Bobby's I'm team, realizing they would not be able to monetize their biggest podcast in history, decided to pull the podcast instead of handing over the money from it to Universal Music. Actual reason. Hey, hey shout out to Stefan Diggs, because that you tried to troll and y'all end up losing. That's funny. So what people don't know what we're talking about right now, screw that, that whole little conversation right there. But of course, we've been talking about the Buffalo Bills and the Jets game the whole time. And I guess in the during the part of the game, Sexy Red was at the Jets game, of course, because we told y'all last weekend, we talked about it a little bit this week, the New York Jets played Ski Eat on the Hard Knocks, John. So she was at the first game. She got a jersey on. And I guess Stefan Diggs must have scored a touchdown or something. And he then he yelled out ski, and they still end up losing. I promise you, when y'all hear this, don't worry. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna make sure I got a video. <laughs> Stefan Diggs, y'all still lost, so that you get the biggest ski eat out of them all. And real quick, while we in other news, if you live in a PG, well, this DMV area, or you might even just seen this video go viral of a PG, a Prince George's cook, I mean, PG County Not police officer, business. um, was sitting here. Was he white? It was a PG Petra. County, huh? Petra, yes, Petra. He looks. What you mean a picture? You ain't seen the video? A video? He, you couldn't see his face. You I can see his that. bald head. You we look like a big white him. police officer. Anyway, it was a police officer who was in a pot in a in a in a um an apartment complex parking lot. He was hugging and kissing on some girl, and then they he opened the back seat. She get in the back seat. He get in the back seat behind her. So the video go viral because it just look obviously this police officer is in his uniform. He in his police car and he getting him some cheeks because ain't no reason for him and her both to get in the back seat of the car. So. And he see in that video go viral, then his wife call him out and put him on blast. Like, nigga, you married and this, that, and the third. You disgusting. Boom, boom, boom. You supposed to be Quick on play. duty. And you out here getting cheeks. And then they aired her out. You say he what? They aired her out. The girl aired her out. What you mean the girl aired her out? Who the girl he was with. Oh, what happened? What'd she say? I ain't see all that. No, no, they was they was good. They was going back and forth. She was like, Well, you you know what you've been doing. Like, I guess she been doing whatever she was doing. And that's why I say, just even with the whole, I guess, the thing about we keep promoting, you know, like, I guess, the cheating or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, because I guess whatever she was doing. So so basically what the girl's trying to say that you've been cheating on your husband and that's why he's cheating on you. Yeah, pretty much. You, you mad well, he got suspended. Me. So that's my only thing is you got to be careful, though. You are. No, you this are, is like I, the Amazon driver that got fired. Because when the girl came out of his truck. Like, mind you, 
Mind your damn business. I hit you. You're being funny, but it ain't no mind your business, nigga. You can't sit. It, you're on duty, dog. Like what? You think nobody going dog? You think nobody no, know, is going people, to? But that's, I, I know. I, trust me. I know people watching have cameras. A, a, nigga, this stupid, is, nigga, this is a police a officer, dog. Like, let's be for real. Anyway. Yeah, no. I'm, no I'm, I'm, but I'm just saying. Like, and it was it was broad day. Like you could hear yeah. the kids running behind, yeah, like no, yelling was, and screaming. Was, like come on, dog. Yeah, you can't. Stupid. You can't be that just that no, loosey goosey. Like come on, dog. It'd be different if you went in the house, like or something. Like but come on, you outside the parking lot getting some cheeks. Like dog, it ain't that deep. And she wasn't even bad. Like I can see if this was a bad. But that's my only thing. Y'all can show those videos, but then you won't show the videos of niggas doing the wrong shit. What you mean? No, I'm just saying, like, you have videos, like, when niggas be doing other shit. Nigga, this, hey, what crime is getting committed now that it ain't on video, nigga? This videos of everything. Yeah. Anytime somebody gets to shooting out, especially if you get shooting in one of those gentrified areas, boy, them, po- them white people is leaking their goddamn uh, ring camera footage to the news reporter immediately. I don't even think I've seen it. I think I don't even think I've heard about a shootout that has not been caught on camera unless it's actually inside of a building. If it's outside, though, no, they sending them ring cameras and you're tripping. Ain't nobody holding on no camera. Ain't that's one thing I can say. People, you them ring cameras no, I, I, have got do, a lot yeah, of niggas locked the ring up. Ring cameras come in handy and uh, and and not to serious it out and 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 no to do serious out and really we do need to. I, I don't know who you need to talk to or what we need to. You know what I'm saying? Like just even. In this state of mind, like kids got too many access to guns now, and the shit is like I said, everybody don't until they hit home. And I don't know if y'all didn't watch the news, the young lady who lost her life today, yeah, I'll do by Duval. It's 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 really getting it's 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 really getting scary because, like I said, we sending our kids to school. You don't know what the situation may be happening, but it's just like nowadays, too many kids got access to these guns now. And I and I, I get it. Like I said, we it's all fun and games, and we laugh. But then, like I said, until it hit on your front door, you know, like it, it's it's crazy. You know, for sure. I mean, and you know, what's so crazy because it was just before you even came in and told me that uh, this evening, it was a video. It's a picture of a young lady in a Florida high school, and she well, she got suspended because she went on her Instagram live in her uniform in the classroom and piped up a gun on the Instagram live. Like I got my joint on me in here in class. That's crazy. She got expelled from school. So that's just, you're absolutely right. And I think that's in the, and in in when I sent that joke to a homegirl of mine, and she was basically saying, like, don't, how, like, the kids are so almost detached from the real world now. Yeah. And that goes again, why I'm just sitting here saying, of course, it's easy to blame it on the music or whatever the case they may be listening to. But the honest conversation and the real conversation is, though, I understand that parents want to live, but though, in this day and 2023 going into 2024, bro, you have to be a parent more than you be anything else. Because it's your, like you said, kids got too much access to everything, but, and they but, don't know what's the difference, yeah, difference between the reality no, and what's and, and, TV, what's but, a game, or one of the things we oh, you got them. When we talk, when we having these conversations, and when we analyzing things that we see, we're speaking from our thirties. These kids are watching this shit as a teenager, young, young adults in their twenties. No, they don't have, they haven't been through life, they haven't experienced life enough to even understand the stuff that we understand. So it's, yeah, no, and and I and I and I, I understand that part, but then I also feel like. We starting to accept too much things in the world where we just like like and that's why I just say even what we glorify or we even people posting the the stepping out or cheating or whatever and just like when we talk about sexy rares and we talk about the music that that the females making and I just like when we go back and think about beforehand just even with the whole the ass eating situation and just like even if we go back to even with the tank when she was like well yeah you was eating my you know what I'm saying like. I feel like we just accepting too much things now where we everything is being publicized. Like what you did in your private, what you do behind closed doors, it wasn't so brought up or we wasn't like, oh, yeah, this is the cool thing to do now. And I think like that's the thing now is just like, yeah, I'm going to show up. I got this gun. I got this money. Or I got, you know what I'm saying? Like we too, we too busy like trying to, I guess, clout or even get, you know, notification like, yeah, I'm doing such and such. And that's where like it triggered down. Like, okay, this is okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I do think just realistically, I, I feel like we, we can point the blame at everything and say what we promote on social media. Because it, realistically, I guess I can't even necessarily say what I can't. Only reason why I can't blame it on everything, because it's just like, like, let's say somebody like me, I don't have kids. So I'm not when I'm posting and promoting stuff. One, I'm not even I don't ain't no kids follow me. So yeah, but just because it ain't no you, you don't necessarily know that kids are following you or you can't say, well, all right, you know, 
this is a kid's page. You know what I'm saying? You don't know that because, like I said, most of the time you probably arguing with a kid. It's just like if you playing the game and you on the, you know, until you hear the actual kid talk, you mm-hmm. don't know if that's a kid or not. I mean, I, I hear you, but I'm just still, I'm not, I listen, you know what I'm saying I'm not, I hear what you're saying, but I feel like sometimes you're trying to give parents an excuse for not, no, I'm not giving nobody full time no, parents. No, I'm, I'm not giving nobody, I'm just saying, like, just even with, like I said, what we putting out there in the society, like we making stuff like just okay, this is cool now. Yeah, but so guess what? As a parent, that's what you got to do. You have to tell your kid it's not cool. The same, listen to what I'm saying, and that goes back into when we talk about the shy, when we. With, with Papa, his father, it don't matter what I've done and what life I live, but he's still telling his son what he didn't like for him. A lot of people try to allow because you want the you want the community to help raise your kid. You want us to stop uh, posting sexy red or stop sharing NBA young boy. And guess what? I don't have no kids. That ain't my fucking job. That's your job. It's but your you job. Still, no, no, it's you, your job you as still, a parent to tell your kid the sexy red ain't is not. But no, but you still need you still need the community to involve. Like that's just like if I, if the, my kids are around are, are here with you know, and I'm not here, I still expect you to discipline them if they step out of line. Yeah, of course, for sure. Of but course. that's what I'm saying. So that's still yes, you're not their parent. He going if he say say, well, you're not my father. I, I expect you to discipline. Right? Of course, for sure, of course. So that's what I'm saying. You can't say, well, damn, you know, you spill. I'm still expecting adults to be adults. Oh, I'm with you on that one. But I think it's hard. I think I'm agreeing with you. I think it's easier to remember that if it's in person. Like, we, I've had this conversation on here. We only had to repeat it a million times. When your kid's in the car with me, I don't listen to music at all. And yeah, if we no, do, I, we, I listen to, saying, we listen to I, kids' but, but, music. But that's what I'm saying. But it's just like, even in, in general, just like any kid, you know what I'm saying? It don't have to be just my kids. It's just any kids. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like we just take that, oh, well, that's not my kid. I don't care. Yeah, um, I mean, of course you don't. You, you know, the sad thing is you don't care until that kid, did you say you don't care because it's not your kid? Until that kid come to school with a gun or that kid uh, bully. And well, we can tie that into the Neo situation where his uh, baby mother to, to one of his older kids, um, she she jumped in like the kid, the kids was trying to jump her son and she jumped in and she put hands on niggas. Mm-hmm. And people on, on the internet, and this is, and again, this is why sometimes you have to realize, dog, the internet ain't a real place with certain conversations because people they just give unhonest answers. No, if that was your kid, you're not allowing your kid to get jumped. I don't care what nobody say. I've seen fam though. We live and grew up in the hood, so I've seen whole families come out and fight niggas. You get the you get the beating up on somebody, you get the best out of somebody, and their whole family in there, nigga. Their whole entire family is coming out there to whoop your ass. Yeah, because I think somebody else they just talked about on the rain cam. They showed up. Somebody got threatened, and look, the end the daughter got threatened, and they showed. No, up. that was this is the same thing. It was it was Neo's? It oh, was, that yeah, yeah. Oh, this, okay. That's the job. Right. She she put it out. She put the cat. Okay. She put the ring camera yeah. footage out so people can see the kid. It was a group of kids outside, and it was a car like with some adults in there. And she's just like, nigga, I'm not going for that shit. And that, but again, and I'm glad she's standing firm on it. She's not allowing the comment section to bully her out from taking the stance she did. Because I like I said, when we grew up in the hood. I've seen whole families jump niggas before. And they ain't care how old you was. You bigger than my little cousin. You beat my little cousin up. The whole family in here at a cookout. We coming outside to beat your ass. It's just going to happen. I'm sorry. And, and I think just sometimes on social media, people allow people to get in the comment section and just say lies. Like, you don't, you just, you don't, you don't believe this. You don't. And I think that's what realistically, to be honest, I think sometimes, and I know we try to mind our business yeah. on social media. Sometimes you got to start tapping our friends on the shoulder in the comment section. Like, bro, stop. Stop what you're doing, because you just in here just lying. We know, I know that's not how you really so live my, your my, life. My, maybe my that's my question. We probably just need to stop taking the conversation so serious. I mean, you you might not. Yeah, you probably don't want to take it so serious, but then sometimes it's just like it'd be hard. Like it'll get no. no it, it, it is. You, you gotta have saying, tough skin. That think, shit will get yeah. the best of you. Uh, what else was we gonna talk about? Lionel Richie was mad that um, that Diana Ross sung uh. Sung happy birthday to Beyonce, but he been trying to get her to come and perform with him on stage for thirty seven years, and she been dishing him. But I just, to be honest, so we can get ready to roll it, roll it out of here. I think we close to, the, excuse me, to like the three hour mark. Shout outs to uh, Boston Richie. Thought that Bubba Man song, he flipped that shorty low. My two favorite songs of of well, three favorite songs I had uh, this Friday that dropped out was Boston Richie Bubba Man, the remix um uh Peaches and Eggplant because Lotto smoked it. And then uh snowman ice wear vezo. But that bubble man, oh my god. And that's and this is okay. Oh, we ain't even get to talk about Gunner. Shout out to Gunner. Gunner sold out the Barclay Center and them people was in there losing their mind. Gunner had the Barclay Center on tilt. So what all them that's in there was a rat. Man, I don't know and don't care. But yeah, shout out to man. shout out to Gunner. And that's why I took brought that in with the Boston Richie thing. 
I think people, the industry is going to learn a few things. That snitching shit, nobody don't care. If your music slap, that Boston Richie, that Bubba man, Boston Richie going to be back. Boston Richie, they had some allegations with him and that 1090 Jake nigga tried to say he was snitching, put out videos and all this. And they was dragging him for a minute. But I do think sometimes for some rappers, you need that back against the wall moment where you feel like you can't get no help from nobody else. You just got to put out some crank. That Bubba Man joint, oh my God, that's on crank like hell. Um, and then, I, like I said, the Snowman uh, by Ice with Vezo. Uh, Lil Uzi trying to put out Bada 16. He said, hopefully by next week. I'm sure if Birdman got anything to do with it, you're not putting it out the same day Drake dropped. So that's not going to happen. Unless you put it out this week, it ain't happening, Calvin. Uh, I mean... You know, they got two different audiences, but I just wouldn't waste it. Like, if I feel like the song, if I feel like it cranked and you actually would do numbers, why are you not going to be able to compete with Drake? No, what's name off of it, right? What? Because that's like, it's still a mixtape, right? Uh, I mean, they're going to put it on, they're going to put it on platform. No, you're going to put so it on platform, be... but I don't think it's the same, right? Uh, it just depends on how you look at it. Because, I mean, I, I seen I seen even um, Quavo even, I meant that I had it as a topic, and we should have talked about it earlier, where Quavo was saying something about they need to do a uh, make a streaming platform again for mixtapes, but I'm like, dog, what's the difference? Why can't y'all just put out your mixtapes on stream on the streaming platform? Because everybody want to eat. But then you just got it, so you can't have it both ways. If you want to put it out for free, you can just put it out and just don't. It can't count on your against your albums. If you you just can't like you and your label have to figure that out. <laughs> but okay, but then who? That, that's what I'm saying. Just even off that whole Drake play, who do you blame more? Because it's just like, okay, let's just say what Quavo did this, but then he used this beat or he used this sample. Oh, if you're saying just on some freestyle stuff, then yeah, I get it. But I'm just talking about just, no, if you just rapping, like, you just But make... that's what I said. I feel like a lot of, you just, just off the pettiness, like, oh, well, damn, I, we, no, hold on, let me make this call. Oh, well, you know, such and such got this mixtape out on blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're talking about actually, you say, if you're saying freestyling, if you're saying freestyling, like, then yeah, you can't. I kind of feel like a lot of people nowadays, you gonna make sure, you know, certain. Oh, well, I, I looked out for you this, so I need this beat. You know what I'm saying? Like people gonna start looking out for one another. Like, oh yeah, well, you know, such and such, you know, use this. And if it comes from a bigger name, that's when people investigate. Like I said, I feel like even with that whole Drake situation, he knew what he was doing. He played that shit and he left it on. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause he he knew. All right, I'm gonna find a way to get paid off of it mm -hmm. because if you recorded it. Your people had controlled the, the audience. No, nah, they said basically they were saying that Drake did the final editing and stuff, and that's why he left the music in. Right, that's what I'm saying. You left it in. Yeah, Drake did. Right, yeah. so that's what I'm saying. So you that that was in your favor. Yeah, of course. So I can know if I'm not getting no money or she not sitting. Here yeah, so if you would do mixtapes, it, it just would have to be like out. Gucci Man. I mean, but Gucci Man and Jeezy did mixtapes. They wasn't freestyling. That's just some Lil Wayne fabulous type shit. You can put out mixtapes without freestyling. Oh, I thought that's what it was. No, hell no, nigga. 50, a lot of, uh, nigga, no, hey, you can no, go, I'm, Gucci I'm Man don't have I'm no, in. yeah, Gucci Man don't got no freestyles on none of his mixtapes. All his mixtapes is original beats, original songs. That's why all his old mixtapes now are on Apple Music, though. 